Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are finishing episode four of Life is Strange and let me warn you now, there are tears. Cause this is just kind of a wild episode. Yeah, well, that's all I'm gonna say about it. It's kind of wild. Um, but thank you guys for tuning in again and let's get right into it. Previously on Life is Strange. Whoa. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Don't ever touch me again, freak! Let's talk about your superpower. Everything has to start what are like you doing here, Mac. Getting stressful Stop. again in this episode. Because last episode me. wasn't like super stressful. It won't work. So I, I feel know like this, this episode is gonna be really else. stressful. Miss Caulfield, please tell us everything. Because there wasn't any like life hey, or death situations. And Louise. That's I feel like there's bracelet. gonna be Why one coming up in bracelet? this episode. Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Welcome to my domain. Let's find what we want and beat it. Max, you better come check out these files. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. Listen, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank being more than friends. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Oh, yeah. Rachel straight up lied to my face. She's Why didn't she say anything? This. So, who she do you most want to blame? School. My fucking dad, of course. Oh, um, that's when I saw the photo. No, you don't. And then now her dad's alive. And now she's do paralyzed. You know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? Ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. <laughs> oh, Hello? goodness gracious. And yeah, and then we're friends with Victoria totally for some reason. Up. And then the what dead whales. Uh. Max Caulfield. Hold on. Chloe, you have a visitor. Stressful. I always think about how like these games stress me out so much because they're choice based, and then I'm like, this is literally like real life though. It's all your real life decisions have as much weight. Well, maybe not as much weight all the time, because I mean they do dramatize the game. We're basically playing Life is Strange right now in real life. All of our choices matter. The little the little butterfly in the corner saying this choice will have consequences. Because for everything we decide all the time in our daily lives. <laughs> the streamer will remember this. Alright, so what, how many days do we have left? Like two until the world is supposed to end? Right now there's dead whales washing up on shore. A lot of them, apparently. So, that is not good. But it looks pretty outside. We got a nice sunrise. Okay, when I think of dark room, I think of... Oh no, I'm thinking of a, is it a red room for the for photography kids? I don't know. Never mind. Is it a dark room? I don't know. Okay. So I guess like she's just her dad's just alive. And she's par paralyzed, I guess. It's Weird. She looks out so weird. I know. With, without blue hair. I'm glad we are, though. It was nice that you sent me actual letters. It's more than any of my other friends have done. And you even wrote on that cool parchment paper. It's so Max. So pretentious. But I love writing on it like an English poet. You deserve the best stationery. 
probably easier to write than to visit me. I don't mean that in a bitchy way. Not totally. You probably wanted to avoid awkward conversations like this. I don't know what's going on. Uh, pretty much. Yeah. Look, the worst thing you can do is treat me like a baby. I still want to laugh and talk shit with my best friend. Yeah, she does still seem sad. Can you stop? This I is mean, seriously, the best view of the sunset. What do photographers call that? The golden hour. See? Without you here, I'd have no clue. Bet you could take some amazing shots. Those beached whales are so sad. I kind of know how they feel. At least, I'm alive here with you. That was really depressing. You're a real survivor, Chloe. I know you have to deal with so much. I don't want anybody else feeling sorry for me. I can do that. Along with my parents. My dad still feels guilty about buying me that car. You know what? I was wondering if instead of him getting in a car accident, maybe she got in a car accident. Because they did emphasize that... Um, that she got a car for her 16th birthday, I believe. Are you okay to talk about the accident? We never actually have, huh? There's not much to say. Some prick in an SUV cut me off and I flew into a ditch. Wow. Do you remember everything? I saw everything in bullet time. I felt my back snap and... And that was the last thing I ever felt in my body. When I woke up in the hospital, I... So she doesn't even, like, really have any feeling. Muscle. Jesus. Wow, so she's like... I, I don't know what to say. Don't Very say anything. Very extremely paralyzed. I'm just happy I did get to see you again. I could have ended up vanishing out of the blue like that girl from Blackwell. Oh, wow. So she doesn't even know who Rachel is. You mean Rachel Amber? When they was probably the never even talked to her like uh, friends. Never. I just read about her in the news. I didn't even know her name. You did? Oh wow. This is such a different world than when we were kids, isn't it? After that snow and eclipse, it's more like the end of the world. Yep. You're you uh you might be right. It might be, but I like to think we can still change things for the better. I'd like to think that too. But I don't have much hope these days. I know things seem out of control, but as long as we're together, I don't feel afraid. Hanging out with you makes me feel like a total kid again. You don't even know. It's crazy because I don't remember this Listen, at all. Chloe, I'm sorry I haven't been out to see you more. That was wrong. You're my best friend. Max, thanks for coming out to see me. You're doing awesome. I don't think so. Um, my, my nose is getting cold. Maybe we should get back to my place? It is hella cold out here. Hella? I oh, hate no. that word. No She's chance. actually like an entirely different person. I've only played this ever one time. So that's probably also why I don't remember it that well. Because I also probably yapped to chat um, the whole time that I was also playing this game. So not only do you have me yapping, but you also have my bad memory on top of that. So <laughs> um, add that into the mix. And it's also, it was, yeah, and it was also like four and a half years ago. So I've played a lot of games since then. Pretty high so tech her room layer. is yeah now in the garage. Feels like a high tech cell. But I am lucky she my can't parents bust their ass to take care of me. Wow. I know it's hard. This is for very them. depressing. They're grateful you are here with them. Right. Especially when they can't even take a walk alone. Sometimes I act like a total teenage brat just to give them an excuse to yell at me. Pathetic, I know. 
Chloe, you're a great daughter. You're kind and sensitive when you don't even have to be. Trust me, I still get my rage on. Especially when a nurse has to watch while I take a dump so she can wipe my bum. Or when doctors flip me around like I was a science doll. I can't even imagine. But you're still amazing. You always have been since we were kids. Thanks again for coming, Max. I, uh, <clears throat> need to get my drink on. Painkillers. Uh, can you, can you bring me some water? It's crazy to think that, like, I don't know. It's crazy to think that, like, such, uh, I don't know. Everything could be, like, changed so much, even, like, in, like, real life, obviously. Um, like, how one thing happens, and then, like, how everything, like, plays off from each other. Like, how her dad died, so now she's, like, or didn't die, so now she's, like, fully paralyzed. It's weird to think about. Drink up, Buttercup. I worded that weirdly. You guys know what I mean. You guys know what oh, I mean. Oh, man. No wonder my throat is dry. I don't think I've talked this much the whole year. Have you ever thought about doing a podcast or something? I wish I could punch your face right now. A podcast? Dude, I am a pod in a cast. Damn. Boring. Ouch. It was just a thought. I know you're just trying to help. <sighs> yeah, well, that's become a bad habit of mine. You sound like an adult now. It seems like we were kids in another life. In another life! <laughs> seems like yesterday! To me, it, it seems like yesterday we were little brats here, watching Power Rangers and destroying the kitchen. Oh my god. We covered everything in flour, even my parents. That was so hilarious. <sighs> But a long time ago. You're the only person that I grew up with who visits me. As you can see, I can't keep all my other friends away. I think I think that's a joke, Max. You have me. I'm not leaving you, Chloe. Well, you didn't visit me a lot either. I mean, I loved your cards and photos, but... I know I wasn't around much. No excuses. I'm a loser. But... I am trying to make things right. How? Dude, you're not super max. And I'm not trying to guilt trip you. That's what my parents are for. Are you lonely is such a sad question. I, I want to ask it. Um. They love you so much. I think I she know. knows that. My mom and dad are so cute. They always pop in here and make sure everything's okay with me. I think Joyce and William are incredible. Max, the accident has been so hard on them. Our insurance sucks and the medical bills are fucking insane. I bet. This yeah, that is probably so expensive. Crazy expensive. I didn't even think about that. Along with the drugs, the nurses, the supplies. Mom and dad are always broke, and they get so frustrated. Is it worth it? Chloe. Oh, that is very depressing. You're priceless. Uh, <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> you are such a geek. That's why I love you. Of course, I know a geek when I be one. When I so be I'm one! Practically a human entertainment system. It would be sweet to chill out together and watch a movie like when you'd spend the night at my house. <laughs> What do you want to watch? Uh, I think I'm in like a, a mellow Blade Runner mood. I always cry at the end. Plus, you know, I always wanted to have cool colored bangs like Pris. I know. You would look incredible with blue hair. Now let's get this show on the road. And you better not fall asleep on me like My you heart always can't take do this. when you watch movies. I remember, Max. I swear I won't fall asleep. Not when you're here. Not yet. Bonnie's come to smack her face or her tail in my face. Nothing but medical supplies. <laughs> she has to use a lot of lotion Hello. to keep her blood circulating. There's the old Chloe. Still got a little bit of that girl in her. Whoa, Chloe can totally control her computer. 
It's so great people get this high-tech help. Chloe is still a punk at heart, but she can't stage dive anymore. That's so cool that Chloe has made friends online. I should offer to put makeup on for Chloe. Not that I can, but it would be fun. Make a wish. It's nice my parents sent a card at least. Chloe, you know we love you and you're in our hearts and thoughts. We hope to see your smiling face again soon. Please be well. I wonder who this is. Dear Chloe, I'm so sorry for what happened. Card. Know that I'm here for you if you need anything. I hope you feel better and I hope to see you again. Megan. I wasn't very available to Chloe. Real nice. Chloe, just thought I'd drop you a quick note to let you know I'm thinking about you. I feel so lame writing shit like, I hope you're well, etc. I know your life is so different now and I don't want that to get in the way of our friendship. Yes, I haven't been around lately, but that will change soon. I hope you are well. Love, Max. At least I sent road trip selfies to Chloe. I'm sure that made her feel great. Yeah, you got a nice little hot dog on your shirt. I still can't believe I put Chloe in that chair. Yeah, this is almost like why I'm like a believer in everything that happens for a reason. You know, got to find the good even out of like bad situations and just pray oh, that the universe is the DVD. on your side. Oh my God. I made that mix for her when we were 12. Oh, the snow globe. Wait, she has so many snow globes now. Snow globes are taking over. And here's the snow dough from the Christmas. Oh, the snow dough. I guess not everything changed. Yeah, Max, Max did become a vortex girl. London. Thank you for the seven stream shriek. Welcome back. Oh, she's going to start to fall asleep. I'm going to be not. fall asleep watching the movie but Chloe's awake she's just sitting just sitting I can't believe you fell asleep so fast. <laughs> How dare you. I know you were beat down after the day with me. And Blade Runner is a pretty dreamy movie to watch at night. Uh, do, you, do you think Deckard is a replicant? Sorry, I can see you're not wide awake like me. No, I'm sorry I crashed so hard. Were you okay? I do have a mother and father when you're not falling asleep on me. You are a bitch. My bad. Morning. It's the company I keep. Yesterday was such a blast. It was great seeing you. I know things were different when we were just dorky kids, but being with you made me feel like when we were little pirates jumping and running through the forests again. It's gonna make me cry. You know <laughs> this is just just so just sad. Why would you say that? Why would you say that? Look, um, that is not cool. Uh, can you <sighs> please go upstairs and get my my morphine injector in the bathroom? Morphine that injector? It's uh, it's total Star Trek shit. You can't even see the needle. Seriously, I, I need it. Um, my parents keep the swag upstairs because they think I can't get to it. But you can, Max. Like a pirate, right? I'm on it, Chloe. I'm depressed. <laughs> oh my god. 
Oh. Hi, William. <sighs> hey, William. Um, am I bothering you? Why, yes, Max. I love going through bills. <laughs> <laughs> Kidding. How can you bother me? I haven't seen you in forever. I know. You look exactly the same. <laughs> it's so cool. Good. Or I'd be scared if I didn't look like me. <laughs> of course, you seem more adult now. Something like that. So what's on your mind? I don't know how to say this, but... I'm truly sorry about what happened to Chloe. I was gonna me say too. it's not my fault. All it takes is a few minutes to change a girl's whole life. Yeah, literally. But she's alive. She's been a trooper. Is she mad at me for not staying in touch? She should be. I have no excuse. She was disappointed, but she knows you care. And I know how hard it is to process all this. It's taken us years. William, I just want you to know that whatever happens, I'll always be here for Chloe. Always. I know you will, Max. I was impressed by Chloe's room and can't blame her high tech equipment. if she is addicted to, uh, be. to morphine. We could buy a few mansions for what it all costs. The insurance helps, but I, I don't know, Max. I know it must be hard on you guys financially. His bills are more like crushing. We have to mortgage our home, and that's pretty scary. But, but we'll get through it. The price is always right. Get it? No? Uh, price. Is their name's last name Price? Huh. Being around you and Joyce again is so nostalgic. Very old school, as they say. This guy has all his <laughs> I think it's accents. It's great for Chloe to see you. Makes Joyce happy too. So it's not all bad news in Arcadia Bay, or is it? Well, I think the world's gonna end soon. But other than that, it should be fine. Uh, other than that, the Prescott family might be bad news. What do you think about them? Evil. Next question. All right. Sounds like you know them Yeah, I'm well. glad we're on the same page. More than I want to. But Joyce has to work for those greedy bastards at Pan Estates. I don't even like to think about it. What do you think is going on with all of this crazy weather and animals dying? Nobody knows, right? It is Nostradamus-type shit, pardon my French. But all I actually care about now is Chloe and Joyce. My family. Is he even going to know about that missing girl? who Rachel Amber really is, though? Rachel Amber? Oh, yes. Yeah, she went to Blackwell, right? Ah, oh, poor thing. That's a real nightmare for a family. I get scared thinking about Chloe and that we might lose her someday. I have to go see if Chloe needs anything. It was so great talking with you again. <laughs> you act like it's the last time. And please, keep me from these bills whenever you want. Oh God, Victoria texted me. What? Oh God, I have to go through all my texts. Hold on. Cause we have like a whole new set of friends. This is gonna be crazy. Okay. Max, you busy girl? Avoiding homework as usual. I told you I'd help you out. You never let me help. Okay, drama stop. And you help me by caring. I do try. By the way, I scored that killer bud from you know who, FYI. Save me a bowl. Okay, so now I smoke. Gotta bounce, TGYL. Come by my room tonight. Max, are you cool? Just wanted to make sure since you walked away so fast. Nathan was worried too. If you want to hit me up or want to talk, hit me up, okay? Love you. Max, if you're mad, just tell me, okay? Silence. So if you want to talk, my door is open. Love you. Mom. Um, happy birthday, Maxine. We can't believe it's been 18 whole years since you were brought to us. Maxine, this is your mom. We need to talk about some of your bills. Are you there? Yes, give me some time to answer. She gave you so hello? She gave you so much time. I can't just text in every class. Some teachers get super pissed when people use their phone. Yeah, because it's super rude and please don't be so snippy. Sorry, long day of homework. You're not the only one and that's why we're wondering if you need to spend so much. We want you to have everything you need, but your scholarship doesn't cover everything. You said I could use your credit card when I needed it. I only bought film, not a camera. Maybe it's time to go digital. I'll call you later. I have to go. Don't pout. Love you. Hey, honey. I hope you didn't forget to, forget to water the plant we gave you, but don't drown it either. Love, mommy. Why do I have text with Nathan? 
Yo, yo, Max, you around in the dark room. In the dark room? Developing shots for the contest. Oh, see? That's what I said earlier. Sweet. So no two whales for you. Not yet. I'll see you guys later, though. Peace out. Okay. And Chloe's text. Hey, Max, this is William. If you want to... Oh, God, because she can't... Uh. Hey, Max, this is William. If you want to contact Chloe, you can use this number. She would love to hear from you. See you soon. I hope. Bye. Hey, Chloe. Maxine here. I know it's been a while. I just wanted to let you know I'm going to Blackwell Academy now. I hope this is still your number. Max is back. Blackwell, that's so awesome. You rule. Best of all, we can hang again. So, yes, is this still my number? Cool. I've got a boatload of homework, but we'll get together soon. Don't tease me. It's been too long. I know. I'll see you soon. Taylor... Max, thanks again for taking me to see my mom. Yes, because her mom is sick. Um, or her back? Something about her mom's in the hospital. I think she wants you for a daughter instead of me. I think not. Your mom is a badass like you. You're right. I cried like a bitch. Oh, yeah, right. I cried like a bitch. So did I. You just didn't see me. It's okay to cry. It gets old. My stupid phone is about to die, so call me back. And then we have um, my dad that I didn't even respond to. Hey, Max, it's just a shame that you hang out with those people. I thought you were different. Alyssa, I saw you throw that TP at me. OMG, I was so not aiming at you, I swear. Don't do it again. Ooh. Hey, okay, we're all caught up. I don't know how I like this. These whales are just a preview of the tornado to come. And the Prescott Foundation? Jesus. Beached angels looking for the whales, whereas the shores of Arcadia Bay once acted as a lovely gateway to the Pacific and beyond, now locals and tourists face the sad, surreal image of gray whales that inexplicably swam to land and to their doom. The whale pods were spotted early morning on Wednesday, October 9th, and within a few hours, at least half a dozen were dead or dying on the shore. Smartphone footage does not reveal any unusual ocean conditions or excessive pollution. Meanwhile, ecologists and marine biologists from across the country are carefully studying samples from the whales and environment. The Prescott Foundation has vowed to provide extra research funds given the local scope of this eco-mystery. Rachel Amber is even missing in this reality. I guess I can't change everything. And then she's just still missing. Nathan is the guy who had a gun He's in the bathroom in episode one. No change to spare anymore. Now it's back to cookies. Like, that's like, that's how we kind of discovered that we had, uh, powers. Ooh. Choices of food coupon boss. Yeah, I don't know. I was kind of, like, mean to my parents in those texts, and then I was mean to Alyssa in those texts as well. They're drowning in debt. Oh, yeah, they got Just debt. to take care of their daughter. Such bullshit. One thousand two hundred and fifty per week. Oh, my goodness gracious! Joyce and William never had a garage sale before. Oh well, yeah, I'd be drowning in bills too. Well, I wonder, um, like what's in this room then? Oh God, it's probably her old room. I just realized as I said that. Oh, there's like nothing really. It's just all boxed up. That's super depressing. Oh, she's gonna have the height thing on her wall still. I never heard much about William's brother. Hi, Bill. Sorry for not staying in touch since the accident. Work has been piling up and I am being sent to Salt Lake City to oversee a new parking lot. You have to go where the work is these days. I wish I could have sent you a bigger check, but you know the story. Money is nobody's favorite thing. Maybe I'll see you next spring for a visit. Kiss Chloe and Joyce for me. Hang in there, Billy. Your brother, Aaron. Shoes. <laughs> Chloe always did love stomping around in her boots. Toys? I kind of want to open this and see what's in here. They bought crutches for Chloe. <laughs> Hoping she might walk again. She's never even gonna ever use them. Too bad Joyce and William can't get any help from the Prescott Foundation. Dear Joyce, thank you for keeping me updated on Chloe's condition. I can only imagine the struggle you and William are going through. I'm so sorry that I can't help you with a loan at this time. Like everybody else, I'm underwater with my own medical bills. Please give Chloe a hug and my best wishes. 
So um, what happened is we went back in time and actually saved Chloe's dad. So Chloe's dad, William, her like birth dad is actually alive in this reality. And um, because of that, you know, her dad being in her life changed a lot in her life. And what ended up happening is Chloe actually got into a car accident. So now she is paralyzed for the rest of her life. A blue butterfly? I'm sure this is a total coincidence. So that also like changed my life. Like I'm, a, I'm kind of a part of like the Vortex Club At least now. We never had that. And I'm friends with Victoria and, and Nathan. Apparently, I don't know. It's there's a lot. My brain is gonna explode. I'm still overwhelmed by this new reality. And I feel so guilty for putting Chloe and her family through this. I could give Chloe the choice of keeping William alive, but that would be cruel. But then I see that they're a family again, and who am I to judge? Yeah, but she's paralyzed forever. Oops. This is not my first playthrough. I did my first playthrough about five years ago, so I honestly don't remember this at all. I remember the beginning, and I kind of remember, like, the base of the storyline, but I could genuinely say I don't remember any of this. I've only played through it once. Sorry. So we, we, um, I don't know. We just haven't, I guess, I don't know. I don't know. It's just now happened. So we prevented the dad from driving himself, which is what, um, then saved him, but then... Then we just came back into this reality. How's it going, Time Tripper? Funny. I think I look older. Here it is. I never thought I'd be delivering morphine to my best friend. The bathroom looks almost the same. Just more medicine. Nothing here. I'm just snooping. Let's snoop in here too. Oh, Max, it is oh, so sorry. Nice to have you <laughs> My bad, girl. Did not mean to just uh, disrespect your privacy like this, but I'm gonna snoop through your drawers now that I'm here. Might as well. Joyce right? is already a super mom. Well, now that I'm here, I might as well go through your drawers. <laughs> Huh. Joyce used to hate smokers in the diner. She probably picked up smoking because she's stressed out. I don't blame her. Oh, no. I didn't realize how bad Chloe's injury really was. Dear Mr. and Mrs. Price, as we discussed last week, Chloe's respiratory system is showing signs of rapid weakening. <sighs> this accounts for her recent... Uh... Oh, my gosh. I'm blanking on how to pronounce this word. Anima? Right? Why, why am I blanking on how to pronounce that correctly? And loss of breath. As a doctor, I am committed to her well-being, but I want you to understand the reality that respiratory fail is common in people with severe spinal injuries. Your daughter is one of the bravest, strongest patients I've ever had, and I'm proud to be working with her. I just want you as parents to prepare for any and all possibilities. So basically, she's dying. I believe Chloe should also be made aware of her changing condition. If you would like to discuss this further, you have my contact information. Anemia, okay. It's good. For Look at them. They have no idea what's in their future. Sorry, I cut you off, Joyce. That is such a sweet shot of Chloe. I wonder who <laughs> That face picture. looks terrifying. William is trying so hard. He's still awesome. Good morning, Max. Ah, oh, you and Chloe are so much quieter now than when you were kids. I remember. It's nice waking up in your house again. Oh, William and I love it. 
Finally seeing you and Chloe together after all these years, after the accident. I wish I was a better friend. I know Chloe doesn't get many visitors. Oh, Max, you're Chloe's best friend for a reason. You're here exactly when she needs you. I hope so. You guys do such an amazing job taking care of her. We can only do so much, and she gets damn sick of her parents. <laughs> That's why it's so important you came to spend time with her. Max, Chloe's condition is not improving. Her respiratory system is very weak, and she, she, do you know what I'm saying? She's dying. Oh, Joyce, I'm so sorry you have to go through all this. This is Bad a mess. Bad or good, I embrace every moment with my daughter and my husband. This is what it means to be a family, and we'll always be one, no matter what. How are you doing, Joyce? I'm doing the best I can, Max. I won't lie, it's difficult, but nobody said life was easy here in Arcadia Bay. She's not even gonna know really who David is. Do you know somebody named David Madsen? He, um, might hang out at the two wheels. Well, that was random. Yeah, he's a, a bus driver. He comes in sometimes. Cute, quiet. Why? Oh, um, I, w I was just curious. You always were. Nice to see that everything doesn't change. Yep, I'm still nosy. Plus, you guys have to work, too. Ah, uh, Bill and I have no time for ourselves. We're working more than we're living. I even had to take a part-time gig at Pan Estates. Ugh. Do you know the Prescotts? I know that Sean Prescott won't be happy until he owns everything in Arcadia that Bay. That still is true. Stay away from his son, Nathan. Well, he's in my text, actually. So, what do you think is going on here with all of this eco-havoc? Maybe Arcadia Bay just wants to be left alone. I know the feeling. Honestly, I don't give a shit about too much outside our house. I don't blame you, Joyce. That's Except kind of valid. now we have dead birds and beach whales outside our front door. So maybe I should care, for Chloe's sake. I have to tell you how much I love seeing you and William together again. He's been such a hero through all this. Chloe and I are lucky to have him. Ooh, which one do I want to do? Chloe and William seem like they still get along so good. Yeah, those two are closer now more than ever. Chloe will actually listen to William while she usually ignores me. Oh, it's so cute when they gang up on poor old me. You rule, Joyce. Shit. Things would be different if I did. I like how you think, kid. I better get back to Chloe now. It's good talking with you, Joyce. Everyone's so sad. You too, honey. Ty, thank you for the tier 169 month resub. Uh, I appreciate it. Are you doing good? Hi, Jason. How are you? Oh. Most Behind important me. meal of the day serving it up Sarah's way. He he funny number. All right, let's go give her her morphine. God damn, the bills never end. Yeah. Damn. Uh, another this overdue payment. This is just for Chloe's basic supplies. Yeah, medical is not I'm cheap. Sure. That's great they finally went to Paris. Can I go outside? To think that our destiny is linked to goddamn car keys. Oh. The house looks so great. William finally had the time to paint the house and fix up the garden. There's just dead birds everywhere. Look at all these dead birds. It's happening here too. Oh, here's their kitty's grave. 
I'm sorry, Bongo Kitty. But you passed on before I changed this reality. They don't have their swing set that they used to have. Here's the drawing. Oh, man. The swing is gone now. Oh, yep. Told you. It must have been sad for Chloe when William took it down. Chloe actually moved our drawing so she could see it from her room. Oh, she did move it, huh? It was over Chloe. there. It was over there before. That is really depressing. I got that gooey stuff. Drugs. Finally. Uh, give me the blue pill. I'm sorry. I'm nosy, but not precise. Go ahead and plug it right in. It's so easy. I don't like that and I'm doing was. this. Um, okay, but get ready to yell for your folks if I screw up. Oh, trust me. I will. Of course, my pain just keeps getting worse. But you caught me on a good day. Max, I'm so grateful that I'm even able to hang out with you. See, I'm getting mushy. I'm already high. <laughs> You're so adorable. Do you want anything else? Um, stop me if I'm being too emo. But can you grab one of the photo albums over there? Well, we had too like emo, to not possible. Pictures of us when we were kids. Please, my diary is like emo ground zero. Plus, Max Caulfield does not pass up a photo op with Chloe Price. Ever. Oh, let's. Oh. Open up the window for some fresh air, but nope. Awesome. I am definitely not a licensed. Chloe was a straight A student. She could have gone to any college. What a bastard. I totally should have let Chloe steal your bullshit fun. Oh, great. Even what if is it this? wasn't another reality. As principal, I am in sympathy with your numerous requests for Chloe's special needs in regards to her wheelchair. All the, oh my God, the wheelchair fund or the handicap fund, right? In class accessibility, et cetera, Blackwell prides itself on making sure students with disabilities receive full, and I did take the money by the way, uh, prides itself, where was I? Making sure students with disabilities have full compliance under the Americans with the Disabilities Act. However, given that the campus and buildings have all been constructed pre-1977, our school has not yet undergone the modern renovations necessary to fulfill all the needs of your daughter and her regrettable dis uh, condition. Sadly, with recent deplorable federal cuts in education, it will take many more fundraisers to fully update Blackwell Academy, but that day will come. Chloe is without any... Oh, without doubt, an amazing student with great potential despite her handicap, and I believe she would find a more fitting, rewarding schol scholaristic environment at the H. West oh, something Institute. They have a rich legacy of disabled graduates, and I know that Chloe would achieve her usual academic leadership in a more comfortable surrounding. With her outstanding GPA, there is no doubt that they would welcome Chloe with open halls. I hope you will seriously consider this suggestion, as I'm sure your daughter would prefer to attend a school that can cater to her many needs. In the same spirit, I've also enclosed brochures for other potential schools in the Oregon region. If you have any questions, please contact my office. Wow, very helpful. Being a psycho. At least if Chloe doesn't weigh that much. Oh man, she has to use that ventilator just to breathe. Is that okay? Perfect. Oh my God, look how little we are there. We look like toys. I remember that day by the lighthouse. My dad was pissed at us. He actually tried to give us a time out. And you laughed at him. <laughs> My dad would have banished me. Turn page. I feel like this could get really oh, sad. Awesome picture. Really fast. Looks so badass in our pirate gear. We should have taken over Arcadia Bay when we had the chance. 
There's still time for you. Oh man, there we are making pancakes. I love that shot of us. It's hard to believe my dad took that picture only five years ago. Literally seems like yesterday. I wish it was. Me too. Oh God. This photo. Maybe I could. Oh God. Listen, Max. My respiratory system is failing and uh, and it's only getting worse. I've heard the doctors talking about it when they thought I was zonked out. So I know I'm just putting off the inevitable while my parents suffer along and I will too. This isn't how I want things to end. What? What are you saying? I'm saying that being with you again has been so special. I just wanted to feel like when we were kids running around Arcadia Bay and everything was possible. Yeah. And you made me feel that way today. I want this time with you to be my last memory. Girl! You understand? Yes, I do. All you have to do is crank up the IV to 11. I'm gonna throw up. What is going on? <laughs> what? I can't do that, girl! I don't know! That's my honest... Yeah. Let's just... Yeah. Oh, wait. I really don't know if I can do this. She's definitely trying to get me to help her. I had another KMS. friend who wanted to end it all, and I did everything I could to try and save her life. How can I be responsible for ending yours? I mean, th there's got to be another way. Max, you were there for your friend, no matter what. Now I'm asking you to help me the same Dude, way. Dude, don't ask me! Ask a doctor! I don't I wanna want do to do this! Help you, Chloe, but Hello? I, th I think my help is hurting. At least you have a choice. When you want to make a decision, you can just do it. Oh, God. Look at me. I'm at the mercy of everybody. For once, I want to make my own choice. Ah, I don't like this. The most important one of my life. Please, help me, Max. Oh my God. Don't pull up the screen again. What? No, uh, I can't. Oh my God. I can't. Oh my god, I literally can't. Ah! She's gonna suffer either way, though. Well, I guess she's not gonna suffer if I accept. If I refuse, she's gonna just suffer and she's gonna die anyways. I can't do that. I can't do that. I can't. 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 Oh my god. I feel like if I accept it, I feel like it's not even... Oh my god, I don't know. It is what she wants. And I did kind of screw up her whole life. I kind of feel like I owe her in a way. I don't want to do this. <laughs> Maybe if I accept it, she'll like be like, okay, wait, never mind. I actually don't want this. Right? Or maybe somebody will, like, will walk in. I think I can go back no matter what, right? I'm gonna accept. I feel like I owe her that. I feel like I really do owe her that. I'll oh just my god. Drift asleep. Dreaming of us here together. I think I can go back, right? Forever. It'll be fine. Someone's gonna walk in. It's not actually gonna happen. She guilted me into it. She was like. Oh my God. She was like, she made me feel bad because she's paralyzed and she can't even move and she can't even do it herself if she, even if she wanted to. Not that you should do that, but like she has a really unique situation and she's in pain and she's suffering and she's going to die anyways. Thank you so much. I'm so proud of you. I don't know what's going on. Dreams. It's not going to actually happen. Don't forget about me. Right? Is she dying? 
I love you, Max. See you around. I I don't even think this is real. Sooner than you think. We're just gonna go back into photo shoots, right? And we're just gonna go back in time? Surely. She's not dead. She's not dead. I don't know what's happening. I'm stressed out. I'm overdosing her. Oh, what do you mean? How could I? That's what she wanted. She's gonna die anyways. She said that she wanted this to be her last memory and then she felt like she was at the disposal of everyone. <sighs> what do I do now? I'm sorry, William. See, we're just gonna look at, okay, so it's fine. We're just gonna go back in time again and back down no one will know someday dad will get one of them newfangled computers i hope the flash didn't scare you max oh god this we're back in this, this, this stupid memory hello hey honey what oh i didn't know you had to get groceries of course i'll come pick you up shit where are my keys that's a dollar for the swear jar you mean your college funds no, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna throw uh, out the keys. You can't hide from me yep, forever. Grabbed them. And no, Chloe and Max wine. Oh my God! And I can't go back because I just burned the photo. Don't blow it because tonight your mother promised to make us a world famous salmon surprise with chocolate cake for dessert. Max. You'll so be he's dead. He's never leaving. That he's gone. Sense. He's dead. <sighs> I'm so stressed out. Max, you are being so fucking strange. You're <sighs> never gonna see us again. Chloe, I'm so sorry. I tried to make things different for you. I, I did try. I'm sorry. Why is the music doing I don't this? I know exactly what you're talking about, but come on, you have made things different, like my whole life. You're my best friend. I've got you and a great family. What's to be sorry for? We'll be best friends forever. <laughs> and when we grow up, we're taking over the world. Listen, whatever happens, I want you to be strong. Even if you feel like I wasn't there for you. Because I will never abandon you, Chloe. I'll always have your back. Always. it's undoing all of everything so now she's gonna be back uh, at the funeral Q David and that's the car that got her into her accident which never ever happened back Chloe you're alive yes <laughs> it's probably like Whoa, what the heck down max you get one kiss now you're all over me I'm just 
I'm just, I'm so glad you're here. Oh my goodness. You sound high, but thanks for the morning grope. Since we were up all night playing CSI Arcadia Bay, I was still spaced out here trying to put all this info together. Max, did you forget we've gone over this? Yes. I hope you weren't messing around with time while I was sleeping. Not anymore. I'm just spaced out too. Welcome back to the real world, Max. Oh my gosh. I don't think I can ever tell Chloe about what happened. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I think, I think that's something that we keep to ourselves, frankly. Let's look at the big that's board one of those and see things all our pieces in the puzzle so keep far. To ourselves. All right, let's see what we got so far. Let's, uh, all right, we're back to the actual reality. The photo is gone and we can't go back. We have two days. It's October 9th. So close, yet so far away. We have to do three main things. Right. Uh, what things? One, decipher Frank's logbook. Two, get Nathan's phone to find out where he's been during the Vortex Club parties with Kate and Rachel. And see whatever hidden shit he's got in his messages. We gotta get his Three, phone. Three, beat Step Douche Dan until he tells us about Frank, Nathan, and the Dark Room. Too bad I don't have a gun anymore. Yes, that's well, the solution. Well, I don't, I don't think we should pull a gun we'll on him. We'll have to do this on our own. Dude, at least let me kick his ass, then rewind. <sighs> Fine, whatevs. It's your power. Which I can't waste on shit like that. Or Blackwell would be in big trouble. You didn't even let me take that money to pay Frank off. And I'm glad. We have to be better than that. I know. You should get busy in the garage to see what dirt you can dig up. I'm gonna cyberstalk some names and see where that leads. Or to who. And be careful of Stepcrack. He's not gonna be a happy camper after you reamed him yesterday and mom is giving him the boot. I'm on Oh it, yeah, I forgot we got him. Oh my God, I forgot about everything that happened because. I can't abuse this level yeah. of my rewind power. Oh, whoa, my necklace is just It's way too dangerous forward. and I need to navigate the present without messing up the past. I forgot that that whole fight happened and he like got kicked out of the house and we like exposed him for everything. Okay. Amazing how innocent our drawings were compared to what we're doing now. I know, ironic that we're using that as like the, the board. Yeah, I think it's good that I, I, I still do think it's good that I didn't take the gun. However, I'm not like entirely confident no. that yet. I don't know. Poor little we'll bird see. has been trapped in here. Where's that bird going? Oh, it's in the bathroom. this bird get outside fly be free yay freedom imagine Imagine is to hit the window again. Since David might be in there, I better mosey along for a change. Zach, thank you for the prime. I appreciate it. Welcome back. It's the most in the sub match again. God, my camera. I think Alani was messing with my cords back there and it like made my camera super uh I. You won this battle, Max. You broke up my family. I salute you. Well, David, that... I didn't try to hurt you. Ever. But I won't let anybody hurt Chloe. Too late, isn't it? You just better be damn careful with her. Don't you wander off into the dark. I don't understand him. He cares, but he's also like, he's definitely very toxic. Be a 
fucking minus. I got a B minus on my chem exam. How did this happen? I don't know. Who is this? <laughs> Ouch. Warn the wounded. The B minus. It burns. I wish I could have helped you, but I thought you were blinded by science. In that case, yes. My folks will shit. Yo, yo, Max. Your friend Chloe texted me that I'm out of the loop now. She sounds hot, so I get why. Chloe actually texted you? I'm sure... Oh, I sure didn't have her number. At least I still go... Oh, get to go ape with you unless you want to chill with Chloe. Or we could all go. One pain in the ass is enough. Cool. I have the jet. T-Y-L. Uh, hey, honey. I just got a weird text warning me that my nosy daughter better stop watching others and look out for herself. Is this some kind of school prank and it's from a blocked number? Oh, I'm so sorry. Some jackass in my class thought that that would be funny to send. It's not. I don't like strangers having my number, okay? Me neither. Sorry. I'm just being a dad. I know this has been a tough week for you. It's almost over. I'll call you guys later. Love you. Hey, girlfriend. Let me know when you want to come by my room and I'll give you a fashion makeover. Oh, thanks, Courtney. I'm swamped with homework now, but I'll check in with you later. Thanks again for the offer. Um, Juliet... Hey, Max, I hope you're okay after everything. You might be busy, but feel free to call me anytime. Hey, Julie, are you busy? No time to be busy. Never text me what's going down. Besides everything, I was just curious if you ever heard a guy named Frank who lives in an RV around town. You mean a van down by the river. I heard he's a sketchy method. That's about it. Why are you doing your own investigation without my help? No, just bored. Talk soon. Thanks. Okay, but you can't keep secrets from an ace reporter, Juliet Watson. Hello? Oh, I did kill my plant. Did I overwater my plant? What happened? Maxine, what, is, what in the heck is going on with the weather up there? Are they doing military tests or something? You're right in the eye of the storm. Yes, I even killed my plant, Lisa. Oh, I'm sorry, sweetie. Get another. One plant was stressful enough. Now back to the books. Talk soon. Kate. Um, Max, how are you? I hope you can still visit me this week. I have some important things to talk about. Of course, I'm still coming to visit. You can't stop me. I miss you and my bunny. We all miss you and your bunny misses you. You're a great friend. Thank you so much. Can't wait. See you soon. Justin, what, whatever this is. Sorry, my phone was in my back. Hey, Justin, you busy? Max Wax, I'm busy blazing. What up? Do you know Frank? <laughs> Do you know Frank? Drugs. That's it? Ask Nathan. He thinks, uh, oh, he knows him, I think. Okay, I'm on it. Thanks, Justin. For what? This guy's confused. That's fine. Sorry, I got in your face today and took out my bullshit. Oh, okay, yeah. That's where we that's where me and Chloe ended off is that she kicked me out of her car because she was like super upset. Um, and she dropped me off at school. Um, took out sorry, I took out my bullshit rage on my best friend. Chloe, I understand you're going through a lot. We all are. Besides, I threw your beanie out the window and busted out my rewind. <laughs> okay, that is your one get out of emoji jail free card, but we need to stock up on six coffee and candy for an all nighter. We have to get to into Rachel and Kate detective mode excellent dear watson i'll bring my thinking cap no worries i have a beanie i'll swing by and pick you up sweet i'll be ready okay all right yeah no for sure definitely definitely bipolar joyce must be so upset are you helping anybody max at this point, girl, I don't even know. And seeing the house is not painted. William never finished painting that wall. That's true. Swing is still here. Got the beer bottle. Ooh, this it will looks theory. like he finished his car repairs. Maybe there's some new clues around. Oh, well, now we can get to that set of loggers over there. That's, I did not even notice that before. Whoa, that is a serious padlock on that locker. Hey, David, what you hiding? 
Was it? Was his other one? It was like one. For seven, once, I don't one have time to something. search for the code. Oh, look at the baby blue jay eggs in the nest. I I better move his plank if I want to take the shot. Excuse me, just one picture, please. God, why did that? Why did that have a uh? uh why did that have a butterfly? What were the consequences? Click. Another photo from my Arcadia Bay wildlife series. Well, can we just put it back? Oh, thank you. Sleep tight, my eggy eggs. All right. Here we go. Here's an email. Should I have signed the petition? Blackwell sure isn't safe and private anymore. Despite a rather heated discussion <clears throat> about the successful petition to block the campus surveillance system, I am still interested in your feedback on other methods of improving Blackwell security. We must find a middle ground between safety and privacy oh, for our yeah, students. Oh, Miss Grant. Twist that knife. I didn't need a surveillance camera to see this suspension income, or to, to see this suspension coming. Best of luck to you, At least you, he Ms. has Grant. one weird fan. Dear Mr. Madsen, I just want to let you know I think it's bullshit what happened to you and the school has too many uh, oh, um, metrosexuals who don't appreciate you or the military. I felt safe in my dorm when you were in charge and I thought about you protecting me. I hope you will come back to Blackwell and make sure we are all safe at night. I'm scared of the school. Wish I had surveillance footage of that conversation. This is from David to Raymond. I apologize for my outburst. Uh, yesterday in your office, I was upset about losing my position at Blackwell without a complete investigation of the facts and based solely on the claims of untrustworthy students. There's a cancer at Blackwell Academy, and without me, it will continue to spread. Nice. Surveillance cameras at Pan Estates? David must be working for the Prescotts, too. So we are on chapter four out of five. Okay, I can use that crowbar to pry open the locker. Oh, jeez. David is packing oh, up Oh, hey, stuff there's too. another gun gone. Either Chloe stole another gun, or David is out there armed. Is crowbarring this the best choice? Sorry, David, but I bet you would do the same thing as me. Oh, maps, notes, coordinates, photos of Kate, Nathan. Oh, yes. Oh, whoa. Oh, literally, this is a photo of Nathan beating up Warren. And then, is that... License plate, is that... Kate Marsh, she knows something. Interesting. Score. Back to Chloe now. You would think that he wouldn't just leave that... In a locker. I mean, he probably didn't think I was going to put a crowbar to it, to be fair. It's but. amazing how much drama this living room has seen. Yo, Chloe! Are you ready yet? I have to get back to my dorm. Are we happy? Very happy. I hit the secret file jackpot. Kate, Nathan, and Rachel. Plus some location coordinates. David is like a one-man surveillance army. Now let's get the hell out of here before we get busted. But I absolutely have to go see Kate in the hospital right now. I want to find out how she's doing. It's valid. Hi, Ban. Thanks for the raid. I appreciate that. Welcome in, you guys. Hi, Pickle. Good night, doggy. Sleep well. This is definitely Kate's floor. The hospitals always freak me out. I, I hear you. But imagine how Kate feels. I'm so glad I, I get to see her again. I hope it's not too weird for her. No, she'll be stoked to see you. 
Who wouldn't be? This be it. I'm a little nervous. Just go in there and be your friend. I'll wait out here so you can chill by yourselves. I was a total dick for blowing a fuse when you answered Kate's call the other day. Good thing you ignored me. I had no idea what shit she was going through. And you yeah. saved her. Yeah. Like me. I'm sorry. Thanks, Chloe. But don't be sorry. We're all on the same team. Team Max. Let Kate know we're gonna string Nathan up by his balls then. Sounds oh, good to yes. me. <laughs> I'm on it. Ah, oh, she's smiling. Kind of. Max. Oh, Kate. I thought I'd never see you again. I feel so ridiculous. I'm so sorry. Kate, listen to me. You have nothing to be sorry about. Other people do. You do not know how happy I am to see you. You look awesome. Is it a stupid question if I ask how you're doing? Now that you're here, I'm doing even better. Good. I'm so grateful to you for coming up to the roof to talk me down. Max, I felt so lost and alone. When I saw how much you cared, how hard you were trying, you made me realize I wasn't alone. Thank you. Kate, there are so many people who love you and want to help you. I know. You should see all the letters and postcards. I gave most of the flowers to other patients here because they need them more than me. How sweet! I'm keeping the balloons, though. One of the nurses gave me some pen and paper so I could do some drawings. I love your illustrations. They got kind of dark there for a while. But I have an idea for a new children's book about bullying. I was thinking of having some photographs in there, too. I hope that's a subtle hint that you'll let me take the photographs for the book. Was that subtle? You better take the pictures, Max. He I'm is going to so be here sweet. for another day until my family comes out to visit. How are they treating you? Like they need to protect me forever. They're so upset. What is that and photo? And I know they feel guilty the even though they didn't do anything. I was surprised how many students from Blackwell wrote me. Daniel, Mr. Dog. Jefferson. What is that? Even Victoria wrote me a very sweet note. What is that? And I believe she was being real. Me too. I'm glad you believe again, Kate. I'm working on it, Max. I just... Pray I can get this drawing right. What is that? Those are nice flowers. And from Taylor? Wow, props to her. If this gets Kate through the night, so be it. Got all of her balloons. I don't think get well is quite apropos. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what... Oh, oh. I love Kate's happy rainbow flock. Bored cat. Good to see that Kate is still working on her book report. Hi, Justin. Principal Wells knows how to step it up when he wants to. Dear Kate, I just wanted to express my deepest wish for a speedy recovery and that Blackwell Academy is united in prayers for your return. The students and faculty have organized a rally in your honor, and I've never seen such outpouring of academic and community support for any student in our history. I know my words may mean little given your circumstances, but it's important you know that we do care. If you need any assistance at all, please do not hesitate to ask. You know what? Intentions are good, but at the same time, dude, our principal's kind of dumb and annoying sometimes, so... Thank you, sisters. You really saved Kate. Kate, it is so good to hang out with you again. Max, I owe you so much. And I can tell you want to talk to me about something. I want you to know I'm this close to getting all the info I need about Nathan. Nathan Prescott has to pay for what he did. 
and we have to stop him from hurting anybody else. Well, I did get his ass suspended, so that might be a start. You did? Oh, right on, Max. I love how fearless you are. So what is going on with him now? Hmm. I assume he'll show up at the Vortex Club party tonight like nothing happened. And nobody can do anything to him after what he did. We're going to stop him. I just have to find Nathan's room number, get inside, and get the clues I need. Max, please let me help. I can get the number, and I'll text it to you, okay? Of course, Kate. I can't do this without you. She wants to help. Now it's time for Nathan to watch out for us. I always want to talk to you. We missed our tea session this week. That was so not cool. We need to plan, like, a tea shop tour of Portland. Oh, yes. And you could bring Warren along, too. Oh? Does what do she you have think a of crush? Warren? Oh, smart and silly. Oh, she has a crush. He's got such a good heart. And he's a cutie pie. You know he likes you. And I'm going to the drive-in with him, so <laughs> we'll see. I want to set them with up. With everything that's going on, it, I don't think, seems weird. I don't think no, she you likes... deserve that. Kate Marsh, matchmaker. I'm glad somebody is looking out for my love life. Even angels need angels, Max. I have to get back to our uh, mission. You don't know how much it means to see you again. I do. That's why I love you, Max. Thanks for taking care of my bunny. Of course! Tell Alice I'll see her soon. Alice! I think it's following. Bye, Kate. See you at the party. Well, how is she? She's still Kate Marsh. Thank God. I'm glad we came to see her. Broken. Thanks for coming with me. Now let's go pay a visit to Nathan Prescott. That little prick is not going to be glad when he sees us. Five years? Oh my god. We're getting so old. That is a long time. Chapter four out of five. There's only one more chapter after this. This one should be about an hour more, maybe a little less. Hey, Max. How you doing? Oh, hi, Mr. Jefferson. I'm okay. Um, and this is my friend, Chloe. Yo. Chloe? Why isn't somebody as cool as you going to Blackwell? I was way too cool for this school. It's a long story. And actual files here. I can imagine. <laughs> Max, are you sure that you're all right? It's weird just being on campus like everything's normal. I know, lame as it sounds, life has to go on. I think there's too much going on in my life. On that note, Blackwell duty calls. Remember, I'm going to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes contest tonight at the party. So I hope you'll be there to celebrate, even though I'm sorry you didn't enter a photo. I understand your reasons. You can't force an artist to work. I feel like a total loser, but it's been a hard week to focus. No pun intended. I'm proud of you for caring so much about a troubled friend. And I take hope in the fact that you have plenty of time to find your way. Just get in the habit of putting your work out there. Thanks, Mr. Jefferson. I'll definitely be there tonight. Me too. I'll be Max's date. You better dance with us at least once. And nobody should have to see me dance. Plus, you don't want to watch the old hipster trying to keep up with the kids. I have some pride. Be seeing you. Yes, you will. Hot for teacher. Gross! You are out of control. <laughs> Not yet. Just wait until the rager tonight. <sighs> Shut oh up. Oh my Don't god, everyone goes Mark after Jefferson him! Cool. I am so ignoring you. <laughs> Fine. Since I'm here, I'll see if I can get some dirt from Justin. I haven't talked to him in a while. Now that is a great plan. Honestly, not surprising coming from Chloe, so... Let's see if I can find out where Nathan is. Excuse me. Hey, Justin. 
It's been so long since I've seen you. Hi, Grevin. That's so ironic that Warren asked Max to the drive-in. Why? I'm right here, you know? Hey, Brooke. How are you? I'm here as usual. By the way, thanks for helping Kate down. Are you okay? I need to find Nathan. Have you seen him around? Ask Warren. I mean, you're going to the movies with him and everything. She is Come on. jealous! Don't be that way. Nathan was suspended, but he should still be on campus. Warren's not good enough for you? Okay. Oh my god. I saw Nathan pissed and walking off campus earlier. Good luck getting that date, Max. I forgot that they were technically like I a have thing to go. in the Talk other universe. Brooke. Good. Nathan is not around. I should go back to Chloe. Last the drive in. Hey, Brooke. How are you? I'm here as you. I might feel better taking your drone for a quick flight. Miss Grant finally gave up and let me fly her again. But you're going to the drive-in with Warren, so you don't have time. Oh to fly my drone. God, girl, really? drop it! I can't fly no a drone way. because I'm going to see ape movies with Warren. <laughs> no. You are perceptive, Max. Now, excuse me. Wow, she is me. jealous! Oh my goodness gracious! Clear away another batch of dead birds today. Samuel. So how are you doing, Max? Been a tough week. I know. Yes, it has, Samuel. How are you? Sad and confused, like everybody else in Arcadia Bay. You look like you have a lot of questions, too. Yep. More questions than answers. Samuel is always here to talk. Have you seen Nathan Prescott around? That would be hard since he was suspended. Oh, that's a good point. You don't sound sad. You don't sound sad, Samuel. Nathan hurts people. The end. Period. What do you really know about him? Not enough to help you, Max. I truly wish I could. I see what you're doing. I actually just talked to Kate Marsh in the hospital. She's doing so much better. Because of you, Max. That was quite a rescue. Samuel, you're the eyes of Blackwell. Did you know Kate was being bullied? Most everyone makes fun of me. But Samuel warned them about Kate. I hate bullies, Max. I believe you. Kate just needed some more helpful spirits like her friend Max. Sam is so sweet. I hope she finds them now. Do you ever talk with David Madsen? He talks to me. I listen. That's how David operates. He sees things, not people. But I, I think he sees you, Max. What does that mean? Why do you say that? Because you both see with cameras. Oh, well. I think you have better vision than both of us. <laughs> no, Max. I, I just look at everything from a different angle. Interesting. I still have a million questions about what's happening to Arcadia Bay. Th that must be why Miss Gant says you're one of her favorite students at Blackwell. I'd rather be in her class than the Vortex Club. Yes, you would. Rachel saw right through them. She's not the only one. Nobody should be trapped in the Vortex Club. Get out now, Max. While time is on your side. I keep thinking that Rachel Amber has a few answers. If we can find her. If Rachel wants to be found. Also a good point. Do you think she's alive? She'll always be alive in our hearts. Sometimes that's all we have left. But... Max, 
All I can tell you is to stay on your path and you'll find what you're looking for. Rachel Amber is waiting too. What does that mean? Even though Miss Grant likes me, I have zero science skills to explain that. We're just yapping with As him, aren't we? As I was just we? saying to her, that's because science has no explanation. Well, no offense to Miss Grant here, but this is just the beginning. Beginning of what? Beginning so of ominous. what? Oh, I, I don't believe anything ever ends, especially time. That's why I can sense something bigger is coming to Arcadia Bay. And Max, I don't like it at all. Sam has like a sixth sense. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm done. I'm sorry. <laughs> I better get uh, going now. We've had a good conversation. It's me mad. Climb. Hi, Miss Grant. Max, you always show up when I'm talking about you. I'm still bragging about you and the other students making Blackwell surveillance brief. I was looking for Nathan Prescott, and I thought he might be in your class. Still Mr. Suspended. Prescott has no class at all after his suspension. I didn't think you were friends. Nope, we're not. Hell no. Sorry, Miss Grant. You're an adult. You can swear, damn it. And I'm glad you did. So you haven't seen Nathan at all? Let's just say I try not to, Max. But I did catch him storming off campus. After what happened this week, I hope you don't see him either. You're not the best student here, but you, you might be the wisest. I'm sorry, Miss Grant. All right, I have to get going. I'm tired of this I'll dialogue. See you later. It's always good talking to you, Max. Hi, Miss Grant. Changes and real my ass. I think. I know. I'm so changed. excited for the new. For the new uh, game coming out in October. Coast is clear. It would be so cool if you and me were going to school here together. But now you can have Mr. Jefferson all to yourself. Oh, you my. Suck. Now let's get into Blackwell Ninja mode. This whole game is dialogue? Well, that's a good point. <laughs> the dialogue specifically so with Sarah was, was going on a little yes, long. Yes, because I want Nathan Prescott in the room next door. Good point. Wait here. Give me the signal if Nathan or anybody shows up. I won't let you down, Batmax. Now I'm I just, just have to find Nathan's room. Supermax, in case you still need it, Nathan's room. Oh, room number is 111. Okay, perfect. You're awesome. Thank you. I love that you bring out the rebel in me. You already are a rebel. Trust me, always. And please be careful. Keep you posted. Okay. 111. That's easy to remember. Oh, Kate brings it. So, room 111 is the magic number. Where's Warren's room? I'm nosy. Gracious. Well, we're in. What is this? Now I need to find Nathan's phone or anything with clues. That monochrome camera is brand new and costs about six grand. <laughs> Bastard. Brand is crazy. I thought Victoria had the photo bling, but once again, the Prescott's rule. For Nathan's room. That's so cute and ironic. I can't believe Nathan still has it around. The best son in the world. I don't think this prescription has helped Nathan. It was definitely like the pills that were in Frank's um, RV. I'd cry too if I had him for a father and had to wear that suit. Nathan likes his tortured subjects way too much. These films all have a dark pattern. Oh! Holy shit. 
That's the gun Nathan used on Chloe. A gift from... Oh man, that dickhead stole one of my selfies. That is weird. That looks like a totally fun show. Even Nathan has a light side. Please, please, please stay away, Nathan. Damn, Nathan. That's a nice shot. If only all your energy went into photography. It's so damn creepy, but the guy has his own style. I don't think one book must can snoop guide the on Prescott's. everything. Hi, Ash. That must be the Broken man lamp. Chloe broke when Nathan drugged her. Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. That is so Chloe. Hey, asshole, we need to talk, or I'm going to tell everybody what you did, and you're going to pay oh motherfucker. Oh, my God. Uh Chloe. Oh, Chloe. Yep. Uh, yeah, well, there is proof. Whale songs? Maybe this is the only soothing thing Nathan ever hears. I really hope they were all consenting models. Yes, I would be cool with having the- He has everything in here except peace of mind. Nathan is way into this party. Bad sign. This is to Victoria. Hey, gorgeous. Let me know what you're wearing to the Vortex this week so I can wear something just as styling and expensive. I'm psyched about going and picking up some serious pate favors. I even told my dad to keep the pigs away from Blackwell so we can all get wrecked without hassle. If we're going to have an end of the world theme, then let's do it fucking on point, right? Yeah, let's have an end of the world party. That's fantastic. Bastard. And yeah. now I remember why I hate you. And why Kate will get justice. Oh, man. Sean Prescott might be Nathan's real problem. Uh, Nate, I know this has been a stressful week, and your mother and I are here to talk if, if need be. And just make an appointment anytime. Your mother wants Dr. Bill to come out after his book tour, but for now, let's stick to your prescriptions. I need you calm and quiet while Pan Estates is being developed. I know being a Prescott is a burden, and I'll guide you into this room step by step, as did my father. It was hard for me when my dad opened my eyes to our destiny, but you'll thank me someday. Don't worry about Blackwell. This shithole town is going to get an anima along with a fresh brand. I want you to be ready to take over when the moment is right. Don't fuck it up, son. Your father. Too bad Nathan isn't more like his sister. Guess. She sounds awesome. Guess this is her sister. And far away. Hi from Brazil. It's been too long since I've heard from you, so please let me know what's going on in your exciting scholastic life at Blackwell. I bragged to all my coworkers in the Peace Corp that my talented bro Nate got a full scholarship to one of the best art schools in the world. Even though I can't always check my mail or phone, please, please, please send me some new photos of campus so I can live vicariously through your lens. I miss you in your photos. And yes, mother told me that you've been in trouble and father has been on your ass, but you have to either ignore him or stand up to him. You know I love dad, Nate, but I'm also in a jungle halfway across the world because of him. He's a bully who inherited too much power, not wisdom, and the only way to win against one is to fight back. Don't let him change you into one just for the family legacy. End of lecture. You're at school, so I just wanted to make sure you feel at home. Back to the mangrove, sending out good thoughts. Better right back or I'll have a jaguar shipped to your dorm. Yes, Nathan sure needs diet pills. This is strong stuff. Mm -hmm. Wow. Kiss ass much, Principal Wells. And this is from the principal. Nathan, I'd like to apologize for the recent accusation. Your name and record speaks for itself. Sometimes students will use that to make their own name at Blackwell. I know your father was upset while I have to reassure him. Oh, while I have reassured him that you would never bring a weapon to school. I don't want you distracted from school, and I'm certain this matters. These matters will be settled by the end of the week. If you have any questions, you know I'm always available to talk. Yeah, the principal is stupid. Nathan Prescott, all American teen. What else? What 
else? What else? What? Oh. What the hell are all those marks on the floor? Let's find out what you're hiding. Oh yes, little phone. You are mine now. Got it! Now I have Nathan's phone, so I can show it to Chloe. Well, before Nathan comes back. Where's Warren's room? Remember, you're on enemy turf now, Max. Damn, Max, you're finally back. I got worried. So what did you find? His room was clean and creepy. Check this out. Boom, Nathan. We got you by the balls, fucker. Oh! What are you doing in my dorm? We're not in your dorm. You're such a nosy bitch, Max. Stop right there, per se. Nathan. Make me ho. Hey! <clears throat> Max, I got this. No, my God, he's gonna get beat up again. Get the fuck out of my face. Oh, Nathan got headbutted. That's crazy. You are so fucking dead. Ah! What's going on? Get off me, bro. Oh. oh my god. Well, I don't. Uh, I don't want Warren to get in trouble because I know Nathan's little little daddy's gonna cover this all up. So I'm gonna stop him for the time being. Because I think I think it's fine. It. I think it's Come fine. On. I think we're done. Oh. But he does have a gun, oh, so let's keep head. that out of reach. Oh. Why are y'all looking at me like that, huh? Well, what you, are we doing? And you, you're all dead. Let's go now. Can we Plus, like take the gun away from him? Way. You're all fucked. Goodness you. gracious! Why are we not taking the gun away from him? It was lying there. Even if Nathan definitely deserved a beating, we should try to be better than that. All right. Well, everyone's alive, so I'm just gonna leave. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. That could have gone worse. There was a gun. So. Damn. That was intense. Warren. Uh, th thank you so much. For what? For headbutting Nathan Prescott. That was awesome. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I don't know. <laughs> I almost went crazy there. Like Nathan. You're not yeah. anything like him. Good to know. So where are you going? I better stick with you guys. Just in case you need me to get my Hulk on again. Or should I call the cops on Nathan? No police. I say, I don't think Not the cops yet. are going to do anything at this point. Uh, so maybe you better... Um... Warren, me and Max have to do this on our own. No offense. It's cool. Whatever I can do to help... Poor Warren! What you can do is find out anything you can about Nathan's father. I'm on it. Between the snow and eclipse... I'm assuming the apocalypse is around the corner. And thank you. Seriously. I'll call you later. You better. I'm feeling pretty alpha now. Yes. You are. He's feeling pretty alpha now! Man, that guy is so fucking in love with you. Yeah. I know. He really did give a serious beat down to Nathan. It was a little scary to watch him do that. Now let's make a date with Frank. Will he even answer you? Frank always answers when he wants money. Like I said, Frank wants to see me right now. Let's not keep him waiting. Hmm, and Frank also has a gun, which I'm not happy about. Hi, Wally. I hate seeing those poor whales like that. Me too. I just think of their families in the ocean out there looking for them. 
Well, that asshole is going to help us find Rachel. Hopefully. You know what would be great? If I still had a gun. Ugh. Yes, the chance for gunplay would just about even the odds here. Frank would scare better. He's a pussy. Besides, if I take him out, you can just rewind. Chloe, do not count on my rewind. Seriously. After Kate, I feel like every time I do, it might be the last. There's no way we could have guessed this is what would happen to us when we grew up. Nope. I'm looking forward to the day when we can just go on a road trip to Portland. Fuck yeah. You, me, and Rachel. Absolutely. So let's play this cool, okay? Totally cool. Just talk to Frank so we can get that code for the book from him. That's all. Got it. No dicking around. Let's roll. It's gonna be so easy, so calm. There's gonna be no gun usage. Frank's going to be cool. We're going to be cool. No one's going to get hurt. It's going to go fine. Yeah. Somehow the world has not exploded yet. I think we have two days until that happens. October 9th. It's happening October 11th. I think it's October 9th. Yeah. I mean, minus the uh, beached whales. It's pretty. There might not be any pan estates by Saturday. This is where my nightmare started. Yep, the lighthouse. All back to the beginning. Those beached whales look so awful, but still there so There is majestic. a lot of beached whales. Let me make sure Take I look at everything Take the trash out before. sometime, dude. This is where Frank ponders his existence and gets drunk. At least he's by the beach. That's not terrible. Oh, fresh meat. So Pompadou must be okay. Good doggy. All right, I'm ready. Oh, look. The Wonder Twins. You should have come alone. She's my partner. Yeah, or bodyguard. So let's get to business. Where's my fucking money? Um, I see. I don't have the money. Yet. Oh, really? Then why did you text me that you did? Because I wanted to tell you in person. Oh, I'm truly touched, Chloe. Now why are you losers really here? We just want to ask you some questions. How old is this guy? You have some serious lady balls. <laughs> no. Jesus, okay. Okay. Wow, he gave in really but easy. I'm not getting you high. Frank, we're not here to get high. No, you don't look like the type. Not like Chloe here. So what do you hardy boys want? Just the names of some of your clients. Oh, is that all? Oh, well, why didn't you just tell me? How about I just give you the keys to my RV while I'm at it? Okay, go ahead. You already did! It's crazy! You already did. Ah, oh, you fucking mental. I lost my keys, but I changed the lock. <laughs> you better goddamn not be snooping around here. Oops. No, no, I'm not. I... Sorry, I Christ, felt like I hate you, Blackwell. Shit. Sorry. You expect everything. Sorry, from I was me. being sassy. You're not getting I any shouldn't have done that. Me. I work for a living. You understand? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yes, Frank. I Without those Blackwell shits as customers, you wouldn't have any work at all. Also Dude, you're a, a drug point. dealer. You snobby whores. Don't come into my home and judge me. That's why I go to church. Yeah. And you want something from me? How about a blade up the ass, huh? Calm oh, down, thanks. Frank. Oh God. Let's just talk. Don't, don't ever think... tell me what to do. I don't think I did this well. Oh god. Get off ah! me! Motherfucker! <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, let's go, go back. My sass got the best of me, I fear. We're gonna rewind. Alright, let's try this again. But let's be. Yeah, maybe. Maybe some. Listen, Chloe. I can I'll tell be cool. you for a fact My bad. that this will not go well. 
Max, I should have known you would be kind and rewind. So tell me exactly what I need to do here. Watch your mouth? Yeah. Please watch your mouth. You have no social skills here, and you will piss off Frank immediately. You kind of love this, don't you? Well, I also Fine. piss him off. I'll try being like you for a change. Or how you used to be. It was also my fault. Oh shit, wait. Wait, <laughs> it let me skip some, wait. Frank, um, after our last meeting, I don't want any weapons in I don't know why, let me skip something that Could I hadn't seen. Put your knife or whatever. Oh, in actually, I probably had seen it. Talking. That's probably just a different- After you pulled a fucking gun on me, oh, close you want to negotiate dog, my safety? Huh? I didn't trust you before, and now I do less. God, I hate you, oh, Black Will. Yeah, shit. no, I think you're you right. You act like it's you own this town. Dog. Like I'm your puppet. Nobody owns me. You understand that? Calm down, Frank. Okay, Let's yeah, same outcome. Let's go back. To be fair, he also pulled out a weapon, so I didn't want him to do that either. Third time's the charm, am I right? Listen, Chloe. Max, I should have known you would be... Please. You kind of love this. I... I don't have the money. Yet. Oh, really? Then why did you text me that you did? Because I wanted to tell you in person. Oh, I'm truly touched, Chloe. Now why are you losers really here? We just want to ask you some questions. You have some serious lady balls. <laughs> no. Jesus, okay. Okay. But I'm not getting you high. That's fine. Frank, uh, your dog is kind of scary. Could you please close the RV door? You aim your gun at me, but you're scared of my dog? That figures. Well, I didn't shoot, to be fair. Okay, there, you're safe. Now, what do you want? Just the names of some of your clients. Oh, is that all? Oh, well, why didn't you just tell me? How about I just give you the keys to my RV while I'm at it? Listen, Frank, I'm sorry to be such a nuisance, but... We're gonna be really important. nice. Yeah, yeah, everything's important these days. But I can tell you're not bullshitting me. There's no time for that, Frank. See what happens when I, I'm less I just less need assy. a little bit of information. Yeah, yeah, well, it always starts with just a little. And Chloe here knows all about that, don't you? Come on, Frank, this isn't about me now. Yeah, right, okay. Both of you are giving me a headache. No deal. Frank, we didn't Chloe, come Chloe, I told you to, to be fight. nice. This is so much bigger than us. Oh, yeah, you didn't come here to fight. A day after, you pulled a fucking gun Hey, on again, me. man, I didn't shoot I you. I am so sorry about that. It might be the dumbest thing I've ever done. And I've done a lot of dumb things this week. Finally, I believe you. But don't ever aim a gun at anybody unless you intend to kill. Although you don't look like you could kill a bug. I... I try not to. And I never would have pulled the trigger. I was just... Dude, she was scared, all right? You pulled your blade on me. We were all freaked out. I wonder out. what now happens then cool. if you actually did shoot him. Like Please? how this conversation would go. Okay, we're cool for now. But my dog isn't. And if you try any shit, he will bite your head off. He's done it before. We're only here to talk. I wouldn't mess with your dog. Shit, you wouldn't have time. You like dogs? I don't know what to say here. Oh, Pompadour is so cute. The only way you know my dog's name is if you broke into my RV. That's how we got out. I thought we talked you about did. it. Are you crazy? No, that's my I dog. Wait. No. Well, you know Seriously, Frank, don't get all spun out. 
We're only here oh, to find Rachel. Oh my Rachel God. isn't in here. I mean, I'll spin you I didn't know. Ass. I didn't know. I thought we talked about it before. To, huh? Trying to break into my business. I was like, this oh, time, he's gonna think that I am so wrong. sweet for Stay. caring. Calm down, Frank. But that's not what happened. Don't ever tell me what to do. Okay, that's my bad. I was like, oh, he's gonna think I'm just the nicest person Whoa. for knowing his dog's name. Chloe! Get off of me! Motherfucker! <laughs> Gosh! You actually shot me. I wasn't gonna hurt uh, you. Well, now it's like got oh, shot. This fucking hurts. Oh, it hurts. Ouch. Chloe, you shot him. <laughs> I know. You're both fucking crazy. Uh, what do you want? We. Can we, I rewind, we just please? Want the code for your account book now. Hey. Just fine. Whatever. Just, just put the goddamn gun down. You already shot me. All right. There. Now leave me alone. All right. Just, just get out of my life. Do you want us to call an ambulance or? No, thanks. You know what? I'll manage somehow without the police. Oh, right. Oh my God. Let's bounce. Uh, let me rewind, please. Can I not? Please, 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 please. Okay, here we go. I was like, oh, he's gonna think I'm so nice for remembering his puppy's name. I forgot that I learned that when I was snooping in his RV. All right, maybe fourth time's the charm. Listen, Here Chloe. we go, one day we'll get it right. The world might end before then, but we'll get it right. Please. Get it right eventually. Maybe we just say that we love dogs. You. Oh, is it? Yeah. There's no. Yeah. Come on. All right. Frank. Oh yeah, you didn't come here. I, I am so sorry about that. Finally, I believe you. But don't ever aim a gun. I, I try not to. And I never would have pulled the trigger. I was just... Dude, she was scared, all right? You pulled your blade on me. We were all freaked out. Now we're all cool. Please? Okay. We're cool for now. But my dog isn't. And if you try any shit, he will bite your head off. He's done it before. We're only here to talk. I wouldn't mess with your dog. Shit, you wouldn't have time. You like dogs? I love dogs. Period. I wish I had one trained as well as yours. Yeah, he had a bad trainer before. Okay. <laughs> Real bad. But he's dead now. And I trained Pompadou how to be my friend. That's very cool, Frank. Your dog is lucky you came along. Maybe we can focus on rescuing Rachel now? Rachel? Is that why you're really here? <laughs> all right. Yes, we're so close to this finding going her going a little now, more Frank. smooth than last we time. We need all the help we can get now. Especially from you. You and Chloe do not know Rachel like I did, and I couldn't even help her. You're in way over your heads. Why don't you just go play in your clubhouse? We can't talk about the photo or the letter, because then again, he would know that we snooped. I think we just talk about the bracelet, because we saw his bracelet. You have Rachel's bracelet. You obviously know more than you're telling. So tell us. Never come into my home and tell me what oh to God. do. Understand? Man, there is something about you <laughs> that is so wrong. I don't this trust you at all. This guy is so bad, so Get fast. Out of my face. Holy cow. You don't have much time, Frank. Rachel needs you. It's too late. She's gone. You don't even know her. Like you did? I loved her, asshole. Oh, no. And she loved me. I know that. Chloe, you don't know shit. You were part of her problem. And Chloe needs to watch her damn her mouth. Me. Always. Calm down, Frank. Oh. Let's just talk. No. My God, Chloe, if you could just shut up. Shit. This could have gone way worse. But what's but happening? Frank might be more dangerous to Chloe now. <sighs> yes, Max, you can change all this if you want. Yeah, I see that. I guess I just have to be like the most passive possible. I felt like he was gonna get mad. 
Like, I mean, he might get mad, at, I guess, no matter what. But I feel like he's just gonna get upset that I am accusing him of hiding something. Which is why I didn't want to do that. And, like, Chloe had already pointed out previously that he was wearing her bracelet, so I thought that would be, like, safe to talk about. Listen, Chloe. Please. You kind of love... Yeah, it does kind of feel like you just get mad at everything. Just the... Oh, he's... Listen... Yeah. There's no... Yeah. Come on. All right. Right. Uh. I... Any day now. Keep fast forwarding and then I love We're dogs. Only... Shh. Love dogs I'm... and then blah, 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 yeah. blah, 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 I'm... blah, blah. Rachel, we just want yes. to help, and then you ah, and, and then blah, blah. and then what are you hiding? What are you hiding, Frank? You should want to help us, not scare us away. Don't you accuse me of anything. You don't know me yeah, or who it. I am, or what I can do. You understand? Huh? Man, there is something about oh you my God, there's that is nothing. so wrong. I don't trust you at all. Now get out of my face. We don't have much time, Frank. Rachel needs you. It's too late, she's gone. You don't even know her. It's the same outcome. Like you did? I loved her, asshole. And she loved me. Maybe Rachel's letter? Oh my god, I guess we just try every outcome and hope that I don't run out of... Oh, well, I guess he got shot in that scenario. I guess, let's just try all of them, right? I feel like Rachel's letter and the photo make it worse. Because then it's obvious that I snooped. I feel like the letter would be safer than the photo. I don't know. I feel like he's just gonna get mad no matter what at this point. Listen, Chloe. Okay, well, what do you guys wanna talk about? How's your day going? Maybe shooting him is the right one? I'm, I mean, maybe. Please. You. It feels like I'm telling Chloe to watch her mouth and she's not watching her mouth anyways. Frank. Maybe like we're just trying to get information out of him and that's what this is all. Maybe killing him is the right answer, maybe. Listen. Yeah, yeah. There's. Yeah. Come. Oh. I. Oh, Fine. in the diner, that he did I... talk about the photo. Do... Oh, you're right. We're on. I like that. That is true. He pulls the photo out of his pocket. Oh, you're on to something. Okay. I like I, that. That's good. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I, I totally you forgot that he pulled that out um, at the diner. Rachel said she gave you one of her favorite photos. That proves how much she cares. And you care. That's why you have to help. How the hell did you know about that photo? That's my favorite picture of her. I can look at it any time and she'll always be there for me. Okay. I can't stand not knowing where she is. Safe. Not hearing her voice or her laugh anymore. We can change all that. It's up to you. Please don't get mad. Help us find her, Frank. Please. Oh my god. We really Please, need to Please, I don't want to rewind anymore. We're tired. We're tired, Frank. Please help us. Well, if there's a chance in hell, you two dorks can find Rachel. I'll take it. Hallelujah. My oh, dog isn't my barking at you, so I guess that's a good sign. Good thing my rewind <laughs> didn't, like, dry up. Oh, wow! And he gave her her gun back. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, Frank. Seriously. I mean... It's hard to take you characters seriously. It feels like this I is all going to. well. Good luck. Oh, wow, okay, after 20 minutes, we have finally come to the best case scenario. Let's go. Okay, okay, okay. We did it. It took a while, but we did it. Yeah, Frank, I, you know what? He's not so bad after all.
Well, he just got mad at everything. Everything, everything I said he got mad. But it was worth it. We did it in the end. Mission accomplished. Chloe, are you okay? I'm glad things worked out okay with Frank. It's nice to have one less enemy in Arcadia Bay. Amen to that. I better focus on this board and start tying these clues together. Frank texted me? Gather information on characters by selecting all uh, correct clues for each section. There's a specific- Let's look at Frank's drug deals during the week of the party. What did Frank say? Hi, Max. Just wanted to see how the search was going. Thanks, Frank. We're getting closer. I see where Chloe digs you. Stop by later if you both want to party and good luck. Yeah, I mean, me and Frank are like this now. I mean, it's no big deal. We're kind of buddies. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just cool like that. You know what I'm saying? Max, now that David is not here, I need Chloe to step up and stop acting out so much. But that won't happen if you and her are getting mixed up in illegal crap like breaking into Blackwell at night. I know it happens, so don't bother to defend or explain. I hoped you would get her back on the right track, but it looks like she's getting stuck again. You could be such a good influence on her unless you both want to play bad. But she can't keep blaming David now. I'm sorry, Joyce. Even I get into shenanigans. But I am trying to be a good influence on Chloe. I know, Max. I forget you're still a teenage adult. All right. Frank's account book. But the client names are encrypted. You got Frank's account Frank book. is for sure the local dealer. But I, I doubt Rachel was carrying drugs for him. David Manson and right? Nathan Prescott have both come into my office to warn me that Rachel Amber has been taking a drug mule in Mr. Madsen's talk radio terminology, acting as a front for another local dealer. David Madsen and Nathan Prescott have both come into my office to warn me that Rachel Amber has been a drug mule. Okay. Um, considering Rachel's exemplary status, I told David that I would need more concrete proof, and he promised he had more to show. So weird how close they were. But Frank couldn't keep Rachel or protect her. There's no doubt she loved him in some way. So that's when that's her letter. Rot must stand for Rottweiler. That does fit Nathan. Rotten. Maybe Rachel took a road trip with Frank, but she did come back. Okay, well, it's got to be this. This. Yes, the game is on. Now, talk to us, account book. Tell us everything. Let's see if I can find any deal Frank made with Nathan or the Vortex. Okay, Max, remember these names and see how Nathan fits in with all this. Uh, Nathan's what, a Rottweiler, right? Where's Nathan? Rot. Okay, Chloe's a bulldog, and Rachel. Is Rachel on here? So Chloe's a bulldog, Nathan's a Rottweiler. Okay. Frank sure is keeping his customers satisfied. We have bulldog right here. He could open a store. Three grand. Huh. Two deals with Nathan on the same day? Party supplies, no doubt. And then we have more of Nathan. I'm getting a contact high just reading this. No Nathan here. So we see Nathan here. Um, I see Nathan here. If Frank applied this kind of detail to his life, who am I to talk? Shepherd, there's no Rottweiler. 
I wonder what dog name Frank would have given me. Here's a rot again. Here he is. Oh, yes. These are all the times and places for Frank and Nathan's deals. Uh, that's it, Max. Okay, now we have David's clues. Oh, Thanks to David's okay. own investigation, I should be able to find out what Nathan did during the party's week. Does David know what's going on with Rachel, or is he just paranoid about everybody? Rachel's been cutting class all week. Frank and Rachel meet once again. Rachel avoids her dorm. We have a case number. Um, of course, a photo I'm a of suspect. Me. David really has I'm surprised been to get an unscheduled Rachel's visit from Rachel while. Amber. She seemed quite upset and claimed she that David Matson upset. was following her around taking photographs. David would deny this, and given the questionable company Rachel has been keeping, I'm not certain I can believe her right now. Um, but this is the. At least David was finally going after the right suspect. I don't know what this red truck is. I hope in this case that David has good tracking skills. It has to be this. We have Kate's picture. David should have done way more than oh, take photos of Kate. Oh, 3.17 p.m. It's not a 3.17 here? What day is this? Nope. nope. Maybe I should try to link other clues together. I don't think it's that. Hmm. Maybe he was trying to help Kate in his own messed up way. Looks like David was tracking somebody's car. Maybe even Nathan's. Good clue. Hmm. How do I get out of this? Why is it not? Um... You need to get rid of these damn cameras, David. Placement of cameras. This is a surprise to get an unscheduled visit from Rachel Amber. She seemed quite upset and that David Madsen was following her and taking photographs. Well, I guess we have like this. Max, there's no logical link between us. And clues. this. This is like goddamn math. I suck. This? I'll have to analyze these plates and coordinates to see if Nathan was under David's surveillance. Well, that's what I was doing! Spy the rust. I select this. I select this. Is it this? Case number 235. I don't know what to put here. Oh, you're treading water. I know I am. Try again. Next club party. Looks like this is not relevant at all. I don't want to do this one anymore. I want to go on to the next. It has to be. It has to be. The coordinates. What is the time on here? Is there no time? What's the time on here? No time. Look at all these license plates. I hope he was tailing Nathan. It has to be these two. It has to be the license plate and the coordinates. Like, surely. I'll have to analyze these plates and coordinates to see if Nathan it's was gotta be. Oh, fail. Abort. Oh my god, is it not those? Wrong clues. 
Okay, this is just. I know it is. Plates. I'm just gonna select everything. I'll have to analyze these plates. I don't. I don't even think it's this anymore. Nathan... And that's all she wrote. <sighs> Please let me find some clues about Nathan in here. Oh my God! Did I finally get it? Was it? What? It was that? It was Nathan beating up. I don't know how it was. Great. Now, how do I find out which Nathan car is Nathan's up to Warren? match the Is it because there's a car in there? Is that why? Maybe I should have let Warren beat Nathan's ass down. Uh, okay. Just this once. I don't know. Oops. Yep, another car David was tracking. Okay, so... Of course Nathan drives an SUV. Overcompensating, as usual. Okay, so we know he drives... Is this Nathan's car? This. We also know his tail hmm. lights out. Who does this car belong to? Oh, actually, no, because his tail lights. Oh, wait, so it is. Okay. Go okay, so that's. Okay, 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 so it's not this, because that. This is Nathan's. Um, because the tail light is out. What is this? There's Nathan dealing to the kids right out in the open. So it's got to be Nathan in this car, because that. So if you look here, the the left tail light has tape on it, and then this left tail light has tape on it. So it's S X F T N D R S F X. Okay, let's find out whose car this is. this one right oh yes now we're finally getting somewhere chloe let's plug in these numbers and see if they lead to an actual address oh. aye aye captain here we come rachel my detective skills were were uh, stalling on that one part there but we got there Okay, and then we have Max, I know we can snap all these pieces. This. Roger that. I have to analyze Nathan's messages. What could help me unlock this phone? Okay. Oh, there has got to be some good shit in his phone. I just... Oh, so busted. It's good to see the Prescotts can't cover up all their tracks. We were to inform you that Nathan Prescott was, oh, has distributed various classes over the past month despite repeated warnings and leniency due to a crude outburst in Miss Hoda's, uh, Hoda's intro to literature class on Tuesday, September 20th. Nathan is sent back to his dorm for the day without a proper write-up for his files. Nathan has, a, Nathan has enormous potential, but also erratic behavior patterns. That may need supervision beyond Blackwell's ability. The school cannot tolerate these disruptions. I don't think this has any relevancy, so it probably does, because I don't think it does. Oh, shit. Um, Nathan is seriously unhinged. But those numbers might yeah, be useful. Yeah, that looks good. Couldn't hurt to give this pin code a whack. If there is a dark room... We better find it. It's a good thing Chloe slipped all these files on her flash drive. This is the Vortex Club party where Nathan drugged Kate. Did he do the same thing to Rachel at another party? Could be like October 4th. <sighs> There's a lot of numbers in here. Okay, Max. Let's blow this code up and go home. Nathan? What the? Pussies can't fucking fight. You fuck up my dorm door. I kill your scholarship. Wow, this guy is so great at spelling. Let's start hacking. Um. Zero, zero, five, eight. He did circle nine, five, three, five. Does that have any relevancy? Nine, five, three, five. I don't think it's this. Nine, five, three, five. Oops, bad code. Nine, five, three, five. Okay, well, it has to be four digits. Four, four, three, six. Four, four, three, six. There's ten, ten. 
7063. I see 7063 twice. There's 7063 on here. Let's try 111 just for the memes. <sighs> yeah. Okay. I knew it wouldn't be that easy. Was it 7 0 6 3? You locked it, dumbass. Oh shit. Make sure to change it. Prepaid phone card. 9988. Oh, 4063. Did I do 36? GPA 3.1. 8603. Do we see that on here? 8603-9988. Seven zero six three. Is that the one I did? Seven zero six three. Eight six zero three. Three zero five eight nine nine eight eight. What the? This is student ID. Why is there so many numbers now? What was the last numbers? Uh, eight seven eight nine seven eight oh eight. No! <laughs> Wait, someone type it out. Eight seven eight. Eight seven eight nine seven eight oh eight. Eight. Seven, eight, nine, seven, eight, oh, eight. Oh, yeah. There we go. Let's find out what Nathan Prescott oh, has wow. been Thank trying Thank you, guys. <laughs> what is this hair doing? What up? Need the G. Okay, cool. Bitch, you sold me water, asshole. Calm down. Bring it to me. I'm bringing it. Stay away. Pigs on the beach. Yes. <sighs> This is all about Nathan trying to score for the Vortex Club party. You home? Got a party tonight. Home. On the way. Load the floor. <sighs> Nathan was jonesing hard the night of the party. <sighs> he didn't have enough drugs. Hey, I need to score ASAP. I don't make house calls. You have a car. No time. Charge me double. Damn right. I have a cash on you. No fucking around. Give me the address. I'll call you to the exact directions. In transit. Get that money Drug out. Drug dealer drama. You up, bro? No shit. What do you need? You're paying night prices. Don't make me wait. Sorry for being a dick. Need more stuff. You home? Yes. Don't come. Fuck off. God, Nathan. You're out of control. Hey, need weed, etc. Now. Calm yourself. You tweaking? Soon. Hook up, brother up. Please. Meet Beach. Be cool this so time. So it was you. Keep your smart mouth shut about now everything or I'm coming for your ass. I know you're psycho stalker. No, Nathan. It's time for you oh, to yep, watch Oh, yep. There out. it is. Hey, whore. Asshole. Some Nazis will be exterminated. Watch is out. Is this from Nathan's father? This is the text I got. Please do not contact me at work. I've told you about this before and being high is not an excuse anymore. This is a business, not just a hobby. You want me to treat you like an adult who can get things done on his own and press me. I'd like nothing more than to be proud of you. I'm not there yet. Oh, there's a lot going on. All right. Take a breath, Max. God, what is going Go on? all this data and you can find out where Nathan took Kate after the party. If Joyce knew what Nathan did to Chloe, she would fry his ass. Okay. You up, bro? No shit. What do you need? You're paying night prices. It's 3 a.m. That's probably too late. You home? Got party tonight on the way. Okay. Well, it's probably this. So, this infamous party was the fourth. Okay. Well, 
let's make sure this was on the 4th. I think it has to be, right? Yeah, it's the 4th. October 4th. Go. Was Frank meeting Nathan at the junkyard? That beach is like Frank's main office. I know Nathan wasn't looking for Bigfoot in the forest. No doubt that Nathan stays in his dorm room. So he could be hiding clues there too. Well, this is the fourth. This makes no sense, oh, Max. maybe not there. Somebody is stocking up on gas. Why? Well, it's probably alcohol. So that's not much the out there. Mm -hmm. The fourth is there too. Oh, that has to be the Prescott estate. <laughs> Poor rich Nathan. That doesn't have anything to do with anything. Not this. It's gotta be gas station doesn't make sense if i can match one of the text messages and transactions with frank then i can find the exact location 540 oh shoot i didn't realize 540 select look 950 oh, no this is not working. Sorry, I didn't mean to select that. Then four. What's the time? Is there another? Hold on, let me double check. Then four, five forty. These have to be the text. You got party tonight, five twenty. Home on the way. Load the bowl. 526. If I deselect this, does it. Hold on, let me make sure there's nothing else on 10 4 just to be extra safe. Okay, I need it. Oh, to score ASAP. I don't make house calls. You have a car. No time. Charge me double. Damn right. Have cash. I need no fucking around. Give me the address. Oh, so it has to be this. Select. But maybe it's this then. Oh, you're treading water. Crap. Honor. Try again. Because that's also 10-4. 10-4 at 10 24 p.m. That's five. Hold on. Let's deselect this too. Let's go back. Ten seven. 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 Ten four. Eleven p.m. Oh, it has to be this. Two hundred and fifty. Select. Select. There we go. Chloe, this is definitely the place. Let me dig up some more clothes here. Nope. Nothing, Max. There's nothing First here. Try. It's a shitty old barn. Let's keep searching and find out who owns this haunted barn. I'm on this. Hold on. Somebody named Harry Aaron Prescott. Prescott. I'm shocked. Should we call the police? Tell them Fuck what? that. You know the police here are like Nathan's private security, right? That's so messed up. As you've noticed, this whole town is messed up. We can't trust anybody, except each other. So we have to go out to that farmhouse by ourselves. I was afraid you'd say that. We could call Warren since he kicked Nathan's ass. It's just the two of us, nobody else. And I'm not scared at all. You have the power. I feel like we're this close to finding Rachel. But my, my power we also to find failed her, us we one will. time before. But remember, my power isn't infinite. We still have to be careful. Do you hear, Chloe? Yes, sir. I don't like that she's just leaving where we're going on her laptop. That feels kind of dangerous. I don't know. I don't know. Hi, Anthony. I 
actually don't like that we're also going here. Holy shit, this is scary. I know, but we're here. Let's go find the best way in. Whoa, check this out. Fresh tire tracks. That's probably Nathan's car, right? The truck. Dude, somebody was just here. Oh. Then we need to get in that barn. Oh, girl, that's not gonna work. Hmm. These are thick tracks and definitely fresh. Nathan's SUV? Watson? We can safely assume that this ancient vehicle is not our suspect. Oren. Thanks for pulling me off, Nathan. Talk about going ape. He deserved a beat down, but I don't want to stoop this level. Besides, somebody's going to kick his ass sooner than later. You're wise, grasshopper. Thanks, but I wasn't exactly the hero this town needs. You still pay your hero dues. Now, we just need costumes. Speaking of, I hope you're coming to the party tonight so we can celebrate. I'll let you know, promise. Cool, now I have to calm myself down. Or Warren. All right, how do we get in? No, oh, there we go. Chloe, I found the front door. Come on. I don't like going oh, yes. into random Maximus abandoned rules. Um, barns. God, this is way too Blair Witch. I have goosebumps all over. Come on, Supermax. Where are those photos behind us? Hey, check out this old chest. What are we actually expecting to find here, though? A little louder, Chloe. Jeez, that is ancient. Jackpot. Old shit. No, uh, look closer. Harry, Aaron, Prescott, and family donate new library to Arcadia Bay. Prescott Industries celebrate grand opening. The Prescotts bring bomb shelter boom to town. Nice scrapbook. You search for more clues and I'll scope out the area. Seems like a bunch of stuff for... Their achievements, almost? Yes, old Prescott clippings. <sighs> but that can't... Even Harry Aaron Prescott was into selfies. The entrance... An old tractor. This tractor has paid its dues. Tracks again. Okay, there's no reason for anybody to drive out here. But there must be. Wow, sir. Talk about home oh. on the range. Used to be a nice barn. What is this, a button? There's no way this rusty ass button will activate these ropes or pulleys. Button. Some boxes. Scope out the perimeter box. Haystacks. So many haystacks, so few needles. Ah, the good old days. Eggs, bacon, sugar, coffee. What does that say? Cocaine? <laughs> That's what I thought it said. Tabasco and milk. Nice. Brown? Is this the tires? No more secrets, Sean Prescott. Girl, what are you expecting to find? Oh. What is this? It's totally brand new. Why? We should leave. I think this is a great time to leave. Huh. These hooks are used to lift haystacks. It could By be a basement with Solomon a Solomon of Friday the 13th movie. Yeah, they could just have a shit ton of drugs up, in here. I have my weapon. Okay, um... Okay. 
I don't think I can just open that because there's no a super max. On. Yeah. You can't open this with your bare hands. Okay, Chloe. Um, I, I found some kind of hatch, but it's locked. I got this. I hope. Let me know the second you need any help. What's this hatch do? Chloe, can you give me a hand? Phew, Sidekick me. at your service. Up, up, and away, Supermax. I dig having minions. Old motor. Is it even gonna work? <clears throat> oh. Nice. Oh! I think we're just, are we climbing on top of it? Is that why? Hi, Seth! Have a good night! Thank you, thank you, thank you. Please be careful up there, Max. Bro. Oh, there's an owl. Pull this rope without tearing my flesh off. I need to hook this up to something heavier. Hmm. Huh. <clears throat> I think we could hook it up to one of the hay bales. So many haystacks, so few needles. Or, I oh, we could hook up to the Damn, tractor? Lots of this tractor has paid its dues. No. Can I unhunt this or is this done? That's done. Pitchfork. Pretty sure this old pitchfork won't open a padlock. Try again, Max. I guess the press cuts were just born bastards. I'm writing in regards to your outstanding debt. This is a 1903. I'm writing in regards to your outstanding debts that have been chosen to ignore, or that you have chosen to ignore. The Prescotts may not be established business gentlemen, but we are businessmen and expect our due. We take your silence as a personal insult and thus dedicate our family name to making you pay your debt with 10% interest plus a written apology. If these conditions are not met by the end of July 24th and the year of our Lord 903, rest assured we will make your life a living hell. Nice. They've always been so sweet. Damn, those pliers are fossilized. I need something strong to smash this padlock. Is it not a haystack? I can't do anything with that. Uh. I have an idea. Here we go, I'm so smart. I was thinking it was gonna be like a, a hay bale at first or something. Here we go, and then we push this off. All right. Max 
Skyver strikes again. Nice! Hey, Chloe, it's open, I think. Yeah, we're making a ton of noise, actually. Damn, this is heavy. What is this? Jackpot. Do I even That need door to did not look that big distance? the first time that I saw it. He just did. Who built this kind of place? Hey, I don't want to go down here. Prescott, of course. Hey, I don't think that we should go down here. Hey, I don't think that we should go down here. Hey. She's gone. She didn't care. Hey, I don't think that we should go down here. This bunker is so surreal. First a padlock, then a digicode. Someone really doesn't want visitors. 19. Oh. Just kidding. I have no idea. This is too heavy to break. Yeah, so you I'll think? Need a code. We're gonna get caught and we're gonna get shot and we're both gonna die. Just leave Chloe and get out. Hi, Tortellini. Welcome back. Okay, does this photo have a date? Wow, sir. Talk about. Oh, it's only home three. On it's only three. Um. Letters, I guess numbers. the Prescotts were just born bastards. I guess it could also be 722 for July 22nd or July 24th. 722 or 734. Is there any numbers on here? Even Harry Aaron Prescott oh. was into selfies. I wish Warren could have seen that physics trick. The code card had a three digit number on it. Now that's a serious door. Wait, what code card? <sighs> this is too heavy to break, so I'll need a code. My blind. Oh, are we talking about in uh, with the phones? Wow, sir. Do I have Talk his phone still? Do I have a photo of that? About home on the range. Maybe it was seven twenty-two or seven twenty-four. I mean, I think it would give us that information if it, if um, that was the code. The only reason to build a secret bunker under it, first a power. Oh, it does. Then it does have three. Code. Oh my God. Someone really doesn't want visitors. I see what you mean. It does. It does have everything. You can do it, Max. Oh, no. It didn't work. Wrong code. Oh. Okay, so it's locked. That scared the crap out of me. Some numbers look faded, so I just have to get lucky. Uh, I don't even know what we did. Oh, nice. Oh, yes. I thought that only worked in the movies. You guys are big brain. Open sesame. Oh, yay! Flickering lights! I love that. That feels so safe. 
Let's totally Stopped go in. and ready for the apocalypse. This yeah, maybe it's just fortune. one of those like doomsdayers. Come on. Now what the hell is this? Whoa. This says it all about Nathan. Okay. He needs help. Dear Mr. Prescott, as Nathan's primary a psychiatrist for over five years, I feel that I should stop seeing your son as you have disregarded my rather dire and immediate suggestions for your son's and others' well-being. You know well the extent of Nathan's challenges, but you feel that you refuse to acknowledge the role you play in his mental health. Oh, but I feel you refuse to acknowledge the role. If I do not have your support, I cannot treat Nathan. It is as simple as that. I fear he's becoming even more disconnected with, with the reality, even if he acts in a personable manner. You've ignored my request for a consultation with you and your wife, so I have to assume you are no longer interested in my services. Regardless, I care about Nathan, and I believe he needs some serious help. If you would like to talk more about this matter, I'm always available. Yeah, so he's definitely not mentally stable. This does not feel safe. Literally at all. Where am I? Talk tape in a bunker is always a bad sign. That's an interesting photo. What is this? I guess Nathan needs the most expensive printer in the world. He's kind of do like the photos that was in his room. Oh, that son of a bitch. Talk about tortured. Another letter. Oh, yeah. School suspension is a deal breaker in the Prescott family. Dear Nathan, Principal Wells was informed, oh, has informed me that you have been suspended due to some suspect of Vortex Club activity on your part. Never mind that. I just want you to know that, or know what kind of shame you've once again brought on this family. I've given you everything you've ever wanted, including Blackwell Academy, among other things we shall not mention, but nothing is ever enough for you. You're still my son, and I want us to fulfill our destiny. That day is coming sooner than you think. So be prepared to step into that responsibility. This is my final warning. Like, what is that destiny that he keeps talking about? Whoa. What is going on between Nathan and his father? Nathan, I've told you to never call me using your phone. Stick with the disposable ones I gave you. Okay, so there's multiple phones. I don't want to hear you screaming out my name in a public place, which you have stupidly done before. I haven't set all this up and shared my vast wisdom just so you can fuck it up with your teen rage. We can accomplish a lot together, but you have to let me guide you or you're on your own. Well, it feels like Dave, like Nathan's definitely kind of like down Let's here. see what's oh. in here. Oh my God. Is that Kate? No. Who is this? Kate did. Oh my God, Kate said that she woke up in an all white room. This has to be the all white room. That's Kate, it has, oh, these are the files. So it wasn't in principal's room, it was this. It was this dungeon. Come on, let's see what this shit is all about. We are. Rachel, Kate, Victoria. Okay, a binder marked Victoria, but it's empty. Look, the next one says Kate. Oh no, Kate. No. God, I should have killed that bastard back there. Kate wasn't the first. All those binders are filled with other victims. Ugh. Victoria has to be next. Nathan must be planning to dose her tonight at the Vortex Club. Oh, party. Shh. Rachel. Yeah. This can't be real. These are all. Should they just these are come and like. Shots, right? Right? Chloe, look at her face. She's out of it. Maybe, maybe Nathan paid her a shitload of cash to do this. She probably would have. I don't I think, think so. That he probably Why is he her. putting her on the ground like that? Where? The junkyard. Max, we have to find that spot now. Wait, what? Then we can see what he did. There's no way she's dead. No way. She posed for those pictures, Max. I know it. Wait, Please. wait, wait, Let's wait, go. wait, 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 wait. Let's all calm down. I don't know what's going on. My brain can't process this fast enough. Um. Hey, don't leave me, please. This picture is framed different. Rachel is awake and fucking furious. Rachel is passed out and she has something in her mouth. 
What happened to her? This shot is so staged. Yeah, what is this? I, I can't believe it's real. I can't. I mean, she doesn't look like she's necessarily, necessarily dead. In that. Oh yeah, school suspension is a deal breaker in the Prescott family. Did she just leave? Girl, <laughs> why did you leave uh, me alone? Apocalypse Entertainment System. Okay, yeah, so it looks like they... Okay. Just bring women here and... Uh, I don't These know. newspapers Photos? are all about Rachel and Kate. Rachel Amber officially confirmed missing. Search continued. Blackwell student saved from rooftop suicide. Okay, well that makes sense because we Somebody both we have Kate, Kate's and Rachel's. You know who else had a bottle of whiskey? The principal had a bottle Somebody of whiskey, likes their whiskey in his cupboard. Needles. Gross. Wait, we saw needles at the junkyard. This must be the crap that Nathan gets from Frank. This is the bright white room. This is the tripod. So who's using this fancy tripod? I've never seen so much pricey equipment before. Rachel's file. Can we not like put this away? We're just like leaving out all evidence that we were here. Girl. Where did she go? I don't, is the principal in on it? I mean, it could just be, I mean, it's just whiskey. So anybody could be liking whiskey, but I will say that I did see whiskey in the principal's office. So that's just something that I don't know. I'm keeping in my mind. But the principal did suspend him and like write a letter that could just be to like, I don't know, cover up. I have no idea. Chloe, slow down. Wait for me. Are we like expecting to find a dead body I right now? I know exactly where I'm going. Ah, why is there like happy music going on? Look, this is it. This is it. Okay. That? Please no. Oh, oh that smell. Oh no. Rachel. Oh, oh she's dead. No, Rachel, no, no, please not her. Oh, she's dead. <laughs> Chloe. Wait, I want proof. Is it actually her? Oh, I'm sorry, Chloe. I'm so sorry. Ah! I'm so stressed so out. How can she be dead? No, but like, oh her, God, but it was her. This? Who does this? That's it? She's just dead? The deer! Wait, is the deer supposed to be Rachel? Is the deer supposed to be Rachel? Because we saw the deer the last time that we were in the junkyard. And I, I had mentioned that it was like weirdly transparent. Is that, is it supposed to be her? Spirit animal! Ah! What is going on? I don't know how I forgot so much of this. I hope Nathan enjoys his last party. Well now, Chloe Wait, has a gun. We can go right to the car. Right? Cause Frank gave her the proof. gun back. Fuck the police. And now she's pissed. Rachel wanted us to find her. 
so we could get real justice and revenge. The Prescotts have had this coming for a hundred years, and nobody is gonna get in my way. This is not good. Especially with your help. Right? I'm with you to the end, Chloe. You know that. No. Oh, no. This is why I didn't want her to have the gun. I knew she was going to bring it with her. I don't. She needs to not kill anybody tonight. Oh, shit. This is like that eclipse. You're right. Look at the outline. I can't tell if they're different. What is yeah, that? Can't be too moved. Jesus, Chloe, look up at the sky. What is that? Beautiful. I don't give a shit. The world is ending. Cool. No. You're not listening. No, why is something major is No, going I don't down. think you're That's listening. Right. Why is there two moons? Ethan Prescott is going down. Mm, why is there two moons? Hey, I have a question. Mm, why is there two moons? Welcome to the end of the world, ladies. I'm glad you decided to escort me. You look really good, Warren. Are you all right after today? I'm glad you stopped me. Nathan is dangerous. Everyone's drunk. I don't like this. And there's a gun. Where a gun, is he? And I'm concerned. I didn't see him at the dorm again. I was held up in my room. Dude, have you been drinking? <laughs> well, if you consider half a beer Half drinking, a beer? What a lightweight. Let's go, Max. Hey, hey. I know this is a bad time, but can I get one picture? I've been feeling like this might be actually the end of the world, so I want to have something for prosperity. Well, I don't blame you, Warren. I know, I know. I'm a pain in the booty. Just one picture. I feel bad for uh, Warren. Action. We've got no time for this shit. Come on, Max. Sorry. I just wanted to feel like a normal student after this week's ultra violence. I Warren never hasn't done anything like wrong. Before. I was always the one getting my ass kicked. Hey, we still need your expert help. If you see Nathan, text me immediately, okay? And do not let him see you. You won't. I know how to be invisible here. No sad. Not to me, text soon. <sighs> Oh god, why do I feel like Warren's gonna get caught in the crossfire of some fight? I don't know. But he's just he's just sweet. Like he hasn't done anything bad. Hi, can I take your phone or anything? No, I didn't see any tablet with cat pics. Okay, okay Chloe, where the hell are you? Uh, I hate touching all these clothes. It uh, hi, Stella! Hey, Max. Welcome to the end of the world. Do you want me to check anything in? Uh, no thanks, Stella. Have you seen Nathan yet? No, thank God. That boy creeps me out. Wait, some girl just asked about Nathan before you came in. Yeah, probably Chloe. Why does Nathan creep you out? He should. I, I just want your reasons. He's a bully for one thing, and he hit Warren for another. Uh, yeah, Have you ever looked at his Warren. eyes? Glazed and raging. Me, no like. So why are you working at a Vortex Club party? I didn't think you wanted to be a member. Screw that. I'm here for the job. Who hired you? Mr. Jefferson asked me because he knows I don't have a lot of money, even with my job and scholarship. Uh. I'm not cool enough for this school. Mr. Jefferson? Yes, you are, Stella. You're smart, honest, and you bust your ass for Blackwell. Mr. Jefferson, I hope everything helped turns turns out party. Your way in the end. Hello? Uh -huh. Thank you, Max. I really appreciate that. Why? Hey, your face looks so intense. Are you okay? Um, no, I'm actually I not feel okay. I I just nauseous. need to find Nathan. And don't forget to Hi, welcome in. Him. Hell no. This is homework, not a party. I'll text you if I spy him. Good luck. Okay. Can't 
totally safe. Okay, well, we think that his next victim is Victoria, so we should also try and find Victoria. We need to find Nathan and take him down. Hello, Brooke. Max, I didn't expect to see you at a Vortex Club party. I didn't expect that either, but I really need to find Nathan. Have you? No, I haven't seen him. And I'm not looking for him, so I most likely won't tonight. I just hate that scrub and his club. You're not the only one. Maybe this party will be the end of the Vortex Club. But I don't have to pretend like I care anymore. Have you seen Warren tonight? Why? You're the one going out. Oh, no, she's him. the one that no, likes Warren. No. <laughs> I am sorry Warren asked me to the movies, but you don't need to give me an attitude. I'd like to think I'm your friend. I know. I get salty when things don't uh, go my Uh, yeah, way. I can tell. I'm selfish while you go on a roof to help save your friend. You're not selfish, Brooke. You're just trying to live your life without all this bullshit. Like all of us here. You seem so wise and kind of invincible this week. I think that snow and eclipse gave you superpowers. Uh, Check to see if you can fly. Yeah. I don't think having superpowers would make my life easier. In fact, I think it's making it harder. Comes great bullshit. I don't know. It would be pretty kick-ass to battle supervillains over Arcadia Bay. Well, the night is still young. And so are we, Max. So let's plan a drone date next week. I like that. Let's do that. Energy drinks, so uh, energy drinks. I know somebody has the booze. I see Warren kicking Nathan's ass. I just wish someone would kick Nathan's ass. I don't like that drawing. Luke, I almost didn't see you. Max, you're the only person I don't mind seeing right now. I was looking for Nathan. I've avoided almost everybody here tonight. Uh, why are you looking for Nathan? I want to make sure he's not going to do, do anything tonight. Like what happened to Kate. I have dreams that somebody finally kicks his ass one day. Brother, we, I'm right there with you. Sometimes dreams come true. Today I saw Warren give Nathan an epic head. That's <laughs> yes, true, that did happen. Your brother Warren. Now all we have to do is drive all these goddamn Prescott vampires out of town. He's not going to know anything I think about Sean, Sean Prescott maybe. wants to drive all of us I mean, out maybe. of town. Or into Pan Estates. I met him once at a Bigfoot's game. He fucking bastard. Oh, man. He oh, I guess he's probably met his dad once. Preach it, Brother Luke. Okay, I have to get going. Um, thanks for seeing me. No, thank you. For helping Kate and for keeping it real. Peace out. No one seems to know where Nathan is. Is he hiding or something? Hey! Dude, poor Alyssa always just. <laughs> She's always getting into some some trouble. Alyssa, incoming! I'm on it. Hi, Max. Good morning. Of course, my object angel has stepped up every single time to protect me from the cruel world. Thank you again, Mystic Max. I'm surprised to see you here. Alyssa, I have to find Nathan. Have you seen him? I really don't know, but surely in the VIP uh, section. Yep, if there's a VIP like section, he's probably for. there. Thanks, Alyssa. Watch out for yourself. Why, when I have Max Caulfield at my side? Good luck. Where is the VIP? Oh, there it is. Excuse me, but I'm going in. Sorry, but this is the VIP section. Members only. Okay? Sorry, but I'm on the list. Okay? I know that Max Caulfield is not on any list for the Vortex Club. Nice try. I actually am on the Listen, list. 
No, you listen. Aunt Annie is supposed I to be the VIP list? gatekeeper, not me. So please go. I swore I thought I was on the list. We need to find a way to enter this bullshit clock. Hey, Max. Uh, what are you doing here? Shit. Justin, how did you even if see me coming? If I get sick, yo, this guy Max, is from overdrive. Absolutely plastered. Time you got here to save this lame rave. Want to get ripped? Uh, you look pretty ripped already, Justin and not happy. Why did you even come tonight? Where else could I go in Arcadia Bay on a Thursday night? Besides, Dana is here. Just not with me. So yes, this party sucks. Mm, yeah. Speaking of, well, have we you know seen Nathan? Nathan? Oh, he out. should be freaking out in the VIP lounge with that whore text club. I fucking hate those snobby douchebags, especially Nathan. That dude is gonna go on a rampage soon. Yeah. You might be right, so stay away from him tonight, okay? What is going on outside? Spread the word. Max, I know I'm twisted, but your face looks so fucking intense. And your voice sounds different. Different. You okay? How about a quick dab? I'm good, bro. Uh, no, I'm, I'm cool, Justin. And I have to get going. Maybe you should go chill somewhere else. Fucking A, Maximus. You're right. I'm only torturing myself here. Plus, I'm too loaded. It's time to get my board and grind. Okay. What the? They're just pissing! It's not even. Can what you the? Hurl and flush already? Yes, you've been vomiting for like an hour. This guy's also vomiting. I'm never leaving this. Maybe Somebody's either having sex or throwing up. You are or both. Good night, sweet friends. That is disgusting. Apparently, Blackwell has a severe toilet paper fetish. Sorry, are you mental? You can't come in. Damn it. I'm so not impressed by this VIP crap. What would a shitty party be without glow sticks? Ooh. Who else can I talk to? Well, she did say it. It's, isn't it this girl that's supposed to technically be uh, on the VIP? Hey, Courtney. How are you? Max, our guests are arrived fashionably late. <laughs> say bonsoir to the end of the world. Even though you flake on my party makeover, you still get special access to the Vortex Club VIP lounge. That's what I thought. You let your minion know since she won't let me pass. Oh, that little asshole just made her last mistake. She thinks she's Victoria. Bye-bye. <laughs> <Bye -bye. laughs> now, let's saying. go make an official VIP entrance, Max Factor. <laughs> get it? Hey, Sarah. Um. Do you oh, know that I personally put Max's name on the list? So you like decide to block her from coming in while I'm taking a break? <laughs> you're not in charge here. Wait, I, I just... Uh, oh my god, you're done. And you're off the <laughs> list permanently. Welcome to the Vortex Club. Oh. Let me in. Nathan is the Vortex Club, so his ass has to be here tonight. Uh, what the? She is a pass She's out. She's wasted, and nobody is looking out for her. No. Sorry to cut you off. Kate says, I have to go, but I also wanted to say happened at the movies before, and he's so sweet. He brought by some school books. I need to give him a hug for me. I will call me as soon as you can. 
Nobody learns at Blackwell. A bomb. Give me a break. Girl, what did you expect? Or, What's up, Hayden? Oh, uh, fuck. Up in the sky, it's Super Max here to save the party. Have you seen Nathan? I just vaped some dank OG buds, so I dank can barely see. Dank OG you. bud. Or these hotties next to me. You want a hit? I'm good. No thanks. Come on, come on. I would kill to see you baked. Get that stick out of your ass. You need to get high more than anybody I know. Next to me. I'm Not good. this week. So, has anybody here seen Nathan? I guess you have to go ask everybody here. Or you can sit down and take a quick look. Okay, okay. What about Victoria? Yeah, go ask her yourself. I would, but like I said. Okay, this is I'm a useless conversation. Rip. Can we just Maybe leave? Maybe you better take the easy time. Whatever. I'm in this world to have fun. Try it sometime, Max. I finally get you and Dana to come out to a Vortex Club party, but you just want to lecture me? Gee, thanks, Mr. Madsen. How much fun did Kate have at your last party? Listen, Hayden. Just watch out for Nathan tonight. I think that's your job, Max. Come back when you're ready to have fun. Okay. Oh my god. Max, seriously? What are you doing here? What is your Taylor, problem? Have you seen Nathan yet? If I did, it's none of your business. This is a VIP area, so you should get back to the bleachers. Yeah. Just I'm keep gonna... on dancing for Victoria, Taylor. And stay away from Nathan. Like, thanks for your concern. I should have told her to eat shit. I think my photo is very- I know Victoria is next on Nathan's hit list. I mean, Should I, I don't her? think she would believe me personally. Uh, did you hear something? Can I talk I'm to you for a second? Not to. No. <laughs> yeah. No. We're talking to the cool I kids. Don't see That's why. I can't even get Victoria or Taylor to twerk. And you want to hang with me? <laughs> why? What is going on? Business. He should talk to his dad then. Bro has got more money than God, and he spends it on the Vortex Club, not the losers over there in the cheap seats. Logan, this is a swimming pool. In other words, you haven't seen me. Ask Victoria. She always knows where he is. Why don't you ever want to see me, Max? Oh. You're so cute. We never okay. <laughs> Mia, what are you? About what do you think he wants the to talk next about? Bigfoot's game. We could go out to the field. I can uh -huh. show you some moves. Touchdown. Logan, don't make me hurt. Damn. Nice. That was way more exciting than a dance. Catch you later, Max. All right. Just want one, Sorry, one Max. good conversation. Vortex Club members only. Sorry, I'm on the guest list. I'm taking you off. Go fuck yourself, you Victoria. I don't have time for this bullshit. Real cute, Max. Whoa. And after I apologized to you the other day. Well, you, you were rude to me first! Blackwell, Kate Marsh tried to kill herself in front of you. And me. Everybody here. That's not my fault, Max. Don't I mean, you even try to it's a little bit of your fault. Let's just I blame change the Nathan topic. for dosing Kate, but... Nobody at that party even cared she was so wasted. It's a fucking party! Everybody is wasted! What do you want from me? Some humanity, Victoria. Well, you got Nathan busted out of Blackwell, so you should be happy. And I'm the only person here who cares what Nathan is going through. This is bigger than a problem, child. I'm not perfect, okay? I'm a teenager at an art school. I'm only here to become a photographer and, and get, get famous. famous. Yeah, Max. You suck. Is that what you were trying to tell Mr. Jefferson last night? Uh, you saw me talking to him? Yeah. Saw and heard. We were just talking about how excited he is for the Everyday Heroes contest. That doesn't mean I'm going to win or anything. I hope you win fair. We'll see. And Max? I know you don't like me either, so it's not like we have to be friends or anything. 
Maybe, but who says we have to be enemies? Whoever makes that decision. That would be us, Victoria. Well, Max Caulfield, I could always choose to let you in the Vortex Club. I don't think that's gonna happen. But not for the reasons you think. Oh, you look so serious. Well, I think I should warn her. I mean, listen, okay. I'm not the biggest fan of her. But. Victoria, listen to me. Your life is in serious danger. I know Nathan is your friend, but he is truly unstable and dangerous. He did drug pay to that party so he could take her son to his dark. What? Nice try, Max. But I don't believe Listen. you. And why would he do that? That I don't know. But it All was I can do is to try to warn her. Die. And I think you're next. Max, that is crazy. Nathan is like one of my best friends. Yes, he takes serious meds, but that's not his fault. His family treats him like a total freak just because he has little meltdowns. They're not little anymore. They're deadly. I, I don't care if you hate me or not. You have to believe me. You could have been a major bitch to me when I got hit with that paint, and I deserved it. Max, I don't hate you. I actually think you're one of the coolest people I've I ever. feel like I'm getting whiplash right now. You just don't know it yet. Maybe I'm jealous because you don't give a shit what anybody thinks, and I do. To be honest, Nathan has been freaking me out. Okay, she believes me. This is good. Just make sure you stay away from him. Okay. And good, stick close to your friends tonight. Okay? I let you boss me around this one time. Good thing and I, I didn't make fun of her. I can go to for earlier in the last episode. Thanks for telling me this, Max. If what you said is true, then you be careful too. Okay, good. I've got good. my own protection. Um text me if you need anything. Okay. I will. Okay. Thanks for good. Our revoir. Okay, okay. I thought that conversation was not gonna go good at first. Maybe there's hope yet for Victoria and me. I'm glad I warned her. There you are. Oh. Chloe, Nathan isn't here. Nobody has seen him tonight. He's definitely not upstairs or in the locker. Damn. Maybe he's hiding in his dorm. Then let's bail. Nathan can't hide anymore. So, you made it. Oh, uh, hey, hey Mr. Jefferson. Jefferson. Uh, are you both okay? You look like you're on a, a mission. Oh, uh, I was just looking for Nathan. Uh-huh. I didn't know you were pals with him. I haven't so seen him since this afternoon. So he, he seemed pretty upset. I think he's still so quite so upset over the, the, so uh, the whole... Kate situation. Yeah, that makes sense. Let's talk later, Max. I have to announce the winner of the contest. I do wish you would have entered. You have to build up that resume and portfolio, but I know you will. Thanks. I hope so. Okay, excuse me. Casually just around a bunch of teenagers with um, the hell out of here, Max. Booze. Okay, okay. Yeah, literally, I'm like, they're all 18 years old Thank and partying, and then the teacher is just I like right here. It, I don't want to get in the way of the party, but it's time to announce the winner. What is of going the on? What kind of contest. school is this? Before I do, I want to thank everybody who entered their photograph and everybody who thought about entering. <laughs> this is the most important the step. Said in you are so honest. hot. Sharing your work with the world. All of you That's represent hilarious. Blackwell Academy and everything our school stands for. As far as I'm concerned, you're all everyday heroes. The envelope, please. And the winner is... Oh my, what a shocker. Victoria hey, Chase. Definitely some Thank you so in the crowd. much, Mr. Jefferson. It was your incredible photography that brought me to Blackwell, and I hope I can live up to your name and fame. I also want to thank all the students for being so dedicated in their pursuit. 
And I'd like to dedicate this prize to Kate Marsh. She is the real everyday hero of Blackwell. And I can't wait for her to come back. Thank you. Well, it's up, Victoria. <laughs> that that Victoria takes won. a little bit of uh, bullshit, so. but I can't believe she blocked Whatever, me, we'll ignore that. Oh. Yes, I can. Who fucking cares? Rachel is still dead, and I want Nathan's punk ass now. Me too. Let's go check out the dormitories. <laughs> you suck, Victoria! Oh, Christ. Nathan just texted me. Oh, no. He says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. Shit. What? We have to go to the junkyard right now. How did he know that we went there? Probably because we left everything in that stupid bunker. Just... Why is that moon flick? Why is it flickering? We left er everything in that bunker, um, like, un... We just like left a mess. That's probably why he knows that we found all the evidence. We're stupid and didn't put anything back, even though Stop I tried. Stop stomping around, Chloe. Right. Just get ready to use your rewind fast if Nathan tries to jump us. <laughs> all of us are dumb. It it could be a trap. It doesn't feel great. I feel like we should have told someone about this. Actually, I feel like we should have maybe told the cops. I don't know, but the moon's back to normal now. God, I want to fucking kill that little psycho. Well, let's hey, not do I that. I can't focus if you're yelling. Please. You're gonna suffer, Nathan. Look. Oh. She's still there. It's a trap. Oh my god. Don't it's look, so a trap. Chloe. Oh my god, it's so a trap. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh. Ah, what? My powers are definitely not working. Oh, oh. Chloe. She's Ow, going to fuck? get. not supposed to happen. Chloe. She got shot right in the noggin, I fear. This has to be, it, it's Nathan, right? Or what if it's not Nathan? What if, oh, it's Mr. Jefferson! <laughs> Well, that's gotta be me. Screw! 